Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Jules, Jules Gambit. This is... Kostya. Hi, folks. <laughs> and we are here today, bright and early, from St. Louis, and we are going to be having a lot of interesting games for you today. Chess.com Classic, Division 2, Division 3, Champions Chess Tour. Here we go. Um, a lot of chess coming up today. I thought we were doing pickleball. Oh, are I also thought pickleball? we were doing pickleball. But apparently we just got the notice from chess.com that we're commentating chess. We're very disappointed. We thought we were commentating mm -hmm. pickleball. Yeah. But the good news is that these players are very good that are in Division 2, II, Division 3. At pickleball? Yes. Some would okay. say even the best in the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. First world uh, pickleball chess championship coming up. But in all very seriousness, skilled. it's going to be a lot of fun. And we had so many upsets yesterday. Yeah. So many upsets. So... Even the loser's bracket's going to be incredibly competitive today. Right. Uh, no, it's super strong. Shall we check out the bracket first? Yes, we shall. Here we go. Okay, this is Division 2. And uh, it's our current bracket. We see the winners from yesterday taking on uh, each other. And this is still the winner's bracket. So these are going to be four-game matches. We'll take our eye on these uh, quite a bit. You got Levon uh, Aronian against Dmitry Kolars, Oparin Asipenko, Akobian versus Dubov, and Yaspum against MVL. And then we also have um, some losers bracket matches. Jules, if you want to see those. Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. We got Vidit against Dominguez, Sevian Rachmanov, Caruana Blue Bomb, and so Van Forest. Which, if you just take a look at the amount of uh, top 10 players we have on this list. Yeah. I mean, like, my God, yeah, it's like a World Cup in here. I mean, Jesus Louise. Um, so we should definitely, I think, actually focus on the loser's bracket because these are going to be two game matches and they're going to be on the verge of elimination. So especially like Caruana Blue Bomb, uh, So versus Van Forest. I think we'll keep an eye on these. And then we have Division 3. Which is full. <laughs> we have a lot of people playing in Division 3, but actually it's less so and is going to be a lot of fun. Is that our current? This is the current bracket for Division 3. Yeah, so there's, nice. they started with 32 players. Some were oh, eliminated yesterday. This is the, uh, the loser's bracket. They got sent to the chess.com pit. So we have so many really interesting matches here today. I think it will be a lot of fun. And we're going to also, as always, you guys can look at the games and let us know if there's any particularly interesting game you want us to cover at the time, and we will do our best to also cover it. Yeah. Okay. I think we have games started. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Uh, the brackets. Oh, right. Let me uh, <laughs> fix that. There we go. Well, it's still a little zoomed. There. Oh, close enough. I think that's it. Um, yeah, these matches here, these are the winner's bracket for Division 2. So we'll keep an eye on the score. This is MVL against uh, Yaspam. Yeah, which is another kind of similar matchup that we had yesterday. Kind of very, very similar where we're having... Um, he calls them the onliners. Right. Versus the, the top teners. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite type of match yeah you get an elite player like mvl he's been around he's been to many top events against a fresh onliner like yaspam and uh, so far the onliners have been crushing i mean you got uh, lazavik in division one and uh yeah all, all these kids here in division two and three um but mvl he's not gonna go quietly he's going to uh i mean he's uh, he's good. I, I don't know how to explain this to people. <laughs> he's, he's very fast. He's a very good chess player. Um, I still consider him a favorite. So in this match. do you think MVL is good at chess? I, I'm going to go on the record and say that MVL is uh, fact, good at the chess game. In fact, good at the chess game. Okay, yeah. noted. So for you guys who didn't know that, MVL is good at chess. Thank you. Mm -hmm. International Master Kostya Kavutsky. I'll, I'll be here all, all weekend. <laughs> 
So we have kind of an interesting game starting out here, and like we said, we'll we'll switch over to the losers bracket pretty soon because those are only two games, and we'll have time for a winners bracket. But let's kind of see what's going on here. Yeah. Um, so let's start with the obvious. Material is equal. Black has the bishop pair, but black structure is a little bit worse, especially on the queen side. That's why is this nice knight on c4. Pawn on c7 is backwards, white has open c file. So Compi likes white here a bit. Uh, Clock likes white here a lot. MVL, four extra minutes. Interesting. Playing 10 plus two. Um, not that that'll matter too much, but probably suggest that Yasmin is not super comfortable with the uh, with the position. Definitely looks like this was uh, some kind of Rui Lopez, Marshall, anti-Marshall, anti-anti-Marshall type of sideline thing. But how about pickleball? I don't know, chat. Who do you think would win in pickleball between the two of these? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. It, it would be a close matchup. But yeah, we've got this really nice knight on the outpost that can't really be threatened. It'll be interesting. Do we uh, want to see... Has the loser's bracket started yet? Let's see. Uh, event. So we got a couple of games here. And I don't... See losers bracket games yet? Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, here we go. All right, we got Caruana on Blue Bomb. Let's see, how do we get here? English. Fabi goes for I guess some kind of Catalan thing. Seeing a lot of Catalans lately. Takes the bishop pair. Fabi had a tough day yesterday. He lost this match to Hakobian, just in the last game, and. Um, yeah, now he's in the loser's bracket. So these players, they have to win all their matches to stay in the tournaments. Um, and this, okay, just got extremely sharp. So E3 hitting the knight, B4. So you take my guy, I'll take your guy. Fabi says, okay, okay. Takes on B3, A, B3, knight D5. And here we are, the live position. Yeah, so from a viewer's perspective, Look at this pawn structure. This looks a little bit suspicious. So why is it still decent for white with that pawn structure? That's a good question. Okay, well, first off, white is up a pawn. So after all those tactics, he did keep an extra pawn. Um, and yeah, bishop pair is still pretty good. Um, that said, he just takes on d5. So this is... This is some kind of tactical thing. No, strategically, black is doing fine. I think if white wasn't up a pawn, then white could maybe even be worse here. Um, but it seems like black has enough compensation for the pawn and just about just about that. So um, we have to keep all the pawns on the board. For white. I mean, yeah, I think you want to try to keep... Well, keep your extra pawn, first of all. Easier said than done. Yeah, maybe it's Rook a C4 pawn, here. Yeah. yeah, that's a good move. And, uh, and then see from here. Because it, it's not like White's extra pawn is super healthy. Uh, like yesterday, we were talking about like a full extra pawn. This is an example this is of a, a half extra pawn? Not full <laughs> extra pawn. Yeah, yeah, very, uh, very much so. In fact, the computer says it's a non extra pawn. It just says White, it's equal. The White has no advantage whatsoever. <laughs> Which to me, I think is a bit optimistic by Compi. I think you'll, you'd always rather be the player with the extra pawn. Because uh, it's oh. up to Black to prove what's uh what's happening Do what's going on let's check uh the sam sevian rakhmanov did i say that correctly rakhmanov rakhmanov game okay this is a loser's bracket as well yeah let, let's let's do a little uh a little oh we have some c4 in the house okay we've had a lot of c4 lately yeah english sevian very dangerous player by the way very dangerous why is that um well uh, like MVL, Sevian also very good at uh, this game in particular, chess. And, uh, okay, what happened in this one? Somehow Black just, like, didn't really get his pieces out. Yeah, so we have that aggressive h5 here. Right. Instead of maybe aiming for some sort of queenside castle shenanigans but i'm not exactly sure why that would be 
No, I think H5 is normal. I mean, so it's uh, yeah. it's new agey. But D4, he takes, opens the E file. And oh. you just don't have a lot of time. But yeah, is black going to develop here in time? Exactly. Are we at the live position? No. Now we are. Moves. Okay. So, wait, wait, go back a couple moves. So what happened there? So bishop c5, he gave mm -hmm. a check. Black had to go king f8. Definitely not ideal. Right? And then bishop e3. And... Uh, White's fully developed. Yeah. You probably could even trade this bishop. Yeah, looks super nice for white. You have the IQP, but I mean, look look where the king is right here. <laughs> yeah, but I guess he's calculating queen takes d3. And what's going on there? Queen takes d3, could you go here? Oh, probably not. No, it's definitely an option. I don't know, it's very sharp. So queen d3, bishop c5, for example, knight c5. Maybe white goes knight e5. Oh, and we see D4, that on the so board. We're about to find out. No, okay, just no, queen no, B3. none of it. They're having no none of it. Trade. Well, this is nice. Yeah, because he wants to keep queens on the board because black's king is weak and he's hitting B7. So black, I assume, has to go back queen D7. Maybe knight C5 is a move, but knight C5, queen B4 is going to be uh, very unpleasant as well, um, if nothing else. So. And in Queen an D7, online game, uh, there are no kings to grab, Lawrence here. So we will we will see how this goes. This looks very pleasant for white. Yeah, like look at everything. Coming. Yeah. And white's rooks are connected. Rook a one. No, it looks uh, looks simple sauce for Sevian. Yeah, I remember when I was doing um commentary with uh, Casa, he was always like, connect your rooks. So we would be very proud of this Good position advice. right here. Yes. Connect rook, those rooks. Rook like this D1 knight also. is begging to be yeah. on e5 here. Why has so many good moves? Yeah, this will it's, be uh, very interesting. Kind of Should ridiculous. we um, move over to Wesley and Jordan? Yeah. Jordan Van Force versus Wesley. So another really intense matchup, two very strong players. Let's see what's happening here. Yeah, this looks like some kind of uh, Berlin or something. Very solid. Can go back in time a little bit. Yeah, we don't have uh, it's uh, Italian. Italian game. Excuse me. It's, uh, okay, typical small advantage for Wesley. And yeah, Bishop C7. I'm surprised how much um, Compi here likes white. I mean, it's equal material, but. Engine is saying that white is like effectively a pawn up. I'm wondering if you could do something like this. Yeah, bishop d5. And force this kind of pawn structure. That's a critical move. Yeah, maybe there's a tactic here. Bishop d5, bishop takes g3. What's going on there? Bishop takes c6. Is that something? I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe rook first okay, to get rid of this on rook e8. hanging yeah. on e1, and then... Uh... Yeah, yeah. What, what are we talking about? Wesley knows what he's doing. Let, let's just let him show, <laughs> show us. All right. <laughs> yeah, what, what are we trying to figure it out? Yeah, there we go. There's the answer it takes. <laughs> so, okay, so bishop g3. Yeah, takes, this is critical. Bishop takes, c's here. nice intermezzo. And he wins a pawn. Yeah. There's the plus one. Man. Okay, but now he's got to convert this. This is like a whole, whole other ball game. Uh, oh, it looks oh, like Fabi's Bobby's winning. Oh, game huh? is uh, happening. Should... Okay, okay, okay. What happened here? He was a pawn up. Yeah. And it was equal. Yeah. And then h4, h5. I, I'm surprised this could go so wrong for black. So b5, he takes. Grabs. Bishop Ooh. d4. There's tactics here. Okay, chat. Okay, white to play and win. White to play and win. What we do also do? don't know. We haven't seen we will, it. We will look with you. If chat gets it before us, we will We will be very proud of you. So yeah, put yeah. on your thinking caps. Oh, I got it. I figured it you out. You found it? Yeah. I haven't even looked yet. What, what are we doing here? I think we're looking at the forcing moves. Takes. And the tacticos. Yeah. Ah, so I believe I know it. Let's give uh, chat a second to... To catch yeah, yeah. Up let's here. let let's let cat let's let chat catch up. <laughs> let's let catch up. Let's let the catch chat up. And we we will not judge too much. Someone in chat thinks rook d six. 
Rook okay. D6. Let's see. Fabi showed us the answer. Nice. nice. And peace up. Peace up. Extra bishop. Just shows you. Extra bishop pays the bills. Look at that. Yeah, and just a piece up. This is a not a. This super, is live. Yeah, this is a live position. It's not a super complicated position. We're I I would say I would say pretty confidently that we'll see him convert this. Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is game over. This is uh, yeah. We should switch to another game. Yeah. Hello, um, Joe. How are you doing? Full piece up. Shout out, Joe Bruin. Um, let's see. There's one more game in the uh, losers bracket. I just want to see who we're missing there. Ah, uh, Dominguez Vidit. Okay. Ooh, okay. R very equal. Very equal. Okay. Draw. Draw. Um, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. To... <laughs> There's just so many games, folks. You know, if something's equal, like they'll dance around, they'll pretend, but okay, we all know what's going to happen. Let's go back to Sevian. His position looked very fun. Um, okay. So can we go, just go back a couple moves? Just want to see. So yeah, we had this queen b three, queen d seven, and the connected rooks. Connected rooks, and now knight g four. Okay, he's, he's just inviting rook, uh, rook e seven, right? Rook e seven, take twice, queen b seven. What's the, uh, what's the drama here? I don't understand. Yeah, and then you get this extra piece. Rook e seven. Probably he wants queen d four. That's my bet. Queen d four. That's what Sevian is calculating because. Mm. So knight e5. And he decides not to go into it. Okay. But knight e5, safer choice. Just trade off that knight on g4. And you still have this tactic if you... Keep the advantage. Yeah, you still have rook e7 coming. Exactly. So very, very practical by Sevian. And black's position is still just unhealthy. You know, rook on h8, not participating, knight on a6. Yeah. Marie says, is it a rapid time control? Yes, I believe so. This is all um, rapid time control. Yeah, 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2. They've got their increment going here. So we see the time getting low, but you don't have to freak out just yet. Although time has made a difference in these games. We've seen some games uh, won and lost by time. And as we just see, we have a result in Fabiano versus Blue Bomb, and uh, it's a win. Yeah, as expected. <laughs> as expected in, uh, in that position. So we can, while we wait for what's going to happen here, we can look at this rook end game <laughs> no, no no let's go back to seven okay <laughs> i like the rook end games are you serious over this <laughs> okay so the knight's getting back into the action yeah no this is like watching uh like you know a, a live animal stalk his prey sevian is about to catch rachmanov and brutally made him and or win in a slow technical fashion. It's like watching the animal kingdom. What animal would he be? It's beautiful. Like a cheetah in this? No, he's he's definitely yeah, a cheetah, a, a lion, <laughs> a leopard. He's some kind of big cat with claws. Big cat with claws. And yeah. that bishop, that defender is going bye bye soon. All the defenders are going bye bye. Yeah, there has to be uh, some kind of knockout here. Bishop H three. Yeah, looks this looks fun. really nice. Um, there's definitely the case. I mean, he's got two minutes. He's like a puzzle rush, you know, world champion finalist. I think he's going to figure something out here. Yeah, those puzzles are especially, uh, especially helpful in positions like this. Do your puzzles, kids. Eat your broccoli. Do your puzzles. Bishop h3. That was our move. Bad sign. <laughs> you know when they think like us. Yeah, it's not, not good. But uh, he's hitting the queen. Where is he going to go? Queen c7, queen d6 look like moves. Yeah, it's hard to find. And white's still a pawn down, so it's not like you can just do anything. Yeah, you need, to, you need to really solidly convert this. Gotta, yeah, somehow get the uh, get the kill in. But 20 seconds for Rachmano. Okay, it's very tough to defend the position. Maybe Sevian doesn't have to do anything. Whoa. So apparently that wasn't the Whoa. move. Whoa, okay. Chat, it is your time. Try Go to find figure. the tactic. Wait to move and have yeah, a massive advantage. Yeah, can you beat Sevian advantage. here? Um, what is the move? Maybe rookie six? Rookie six could be... Rookie six is kind of wild. Rookie six could be annoying. Wow. I'm sure rookie seven is good for white, but rookie six might be the... Uh, no, rookie six is the, the real... The real deal. The real real. Hmm. He's thinking about it. That's crazy. Maybe there's something. I'm sure there's 
Lots of good moves here for white. Queen e3 looks pretty Yeah, queen e3. Juicy and then just rook e7. Uh, stuff yeah. going here. Yeah, queen e3 actually seems like the simple, simple way to just end it. You just infiltrate. Okay, queen f3. Which apparently was the move. Queen f3 is strong, yeah. I thought rook e6 was fine. Yeah, a okay. tighter also liked rook e6. Queen f3 is... Uh, is uh, not bad. Threatening knight e6 <laughs> directly. Five seconds for Rachmanov. Queen d6. Okay. Rook, G Rook e6 now. Yeah. Rook e6, I think. It should be game over. Rook e6, and you're taking on, on g6. Very interesting. Come on, Sam. I chattered. That's the caveat of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Hello, oh. Jack. Nice to see you here. Yeah, I'm wondering... I like this rook e6. Oh. Better than like knight e6 or something? Of the Is knight e6? Okay, king g8. And then I don't see the follow-up. Probably it's good. Here, you know, I'm just wanting to, to take or take. Oh, bishop e6. Bishop Another e6. Way. Also strong. Wow. Looks like he's threatening. He's threatening to take and take on f7. So queen c7. Oh, man. 30 seconds for Sevian. Yeah, this is... And only three seconds. Bishop a2. Oh, what an unpleasant move. Just no tactics. And rook e7. Oh, it's all over. Yeah, now yeah, f7 is collapsing. Do? That's it. It's That's just it. so clean. That's... What a great... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was extremely well played by Sam. Yeah, look at that. Takes. Now he's just up the exchange. Black's knight is on a6. White's up a full rook here on the king side. Those rooks are hunting. It's over. It's hunting season. And we see wow. the result. Sam Sevian won. GG. They will have... It's just two games, right? So... Yeah. The second that's game first of two. decides all. And while we look, do we want to see the, the winner's bracket real quick? Um, I just switched to this rook end game just because they're low on time. Uh, Wesley So, Van Forrest... I think we'll have time for the winner's bracket because they got they got four game matches. You know, they're very comfortable up there. They're very comfortable. They're having a good time. Yeah, yeah. They got their <laughs> coffee, their tea, uh, their snacks. Uh, meanwhile, this Rook End game, who's more comfortable here? My guess is black. You've got this advanced pawn. It's probably very equal. Yeah, I think it's they're going to trade off soon. Which is a very big, actually, almost a win for Jordan and Van Forest because he's managed to draw Wesley as black, mm -hmm. which means when he has white and in the most critical game, that's that's some good chances there. Yeah, I think. Okay, let's go to this game, yeah? Yes. Looks like MVL. Whoa. With two seconds. And this is, he is a blitz champion, Jospin, so. Mm-hmm. We will see how this goes, but this does not look very pleasant for a uh, black It's not. Uh, it's not trivial though. It's not trivial for white because uh, now it might be trivial. <laughs> now, because okay, if we could just go back a quick. Sure. Point. It wasn't easy here because the problem is white has okay the two connected passers, but he has to deal with the a pawn. If he starts like running his king over like king to b4, then he, you're always worried that like you're going to uh, allow uh, black to give up the bishop for both pawns. Now here, mm -hmm. I think it's still it's still winning somehow, but that's the fear. It's that you're going to lose the pawns. But okay, Yasmin just lost the pawn without any struggle, and that was that was game over. Just resigns. All right, where are we going? Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, Dubov and Hagobian, we have a draw there. Aparin beat Esipenko. Yeah, maybe we should look at the bracket real quick. Uh, okay. Or if it's starting, we can uh, just immediately... Yeah, I think bracket is still the same. Uh, but we're on to the round twos. So let's start here. Okay, game two, Van Forest. Versus So. Yeah. Okay, million dollar question. How do you get an advantage against Wesley So? <laughs> People have been trying for years. <laughs> The answer is uh, you don't. You just play quickly and make normal moves. Yeah. If Wesley draws, it goes to Armageddon. Right. And we've seen some fun Armageddon games. We had some Armageddon drama yesterday where we had to reset a position. Which yeah. Which very interesting. So who knows what will happen. Okay. Well, this one's pretty typical Italian game. 
Uh, let's see, we got Rachmanov. He is now in a must win against Sevian. Yeah, maybe we should watch a must win game. Because uh, this is going to be pretty dramatic. And okay, it's a Nimzo Indian. It's, uh, it's a simple structure. Sevian seems like he knows what he's doing. Very uh, typical maneuvers for, uh, for black here. Trades off light squared bishops. Feels like black is more comfortable. More space. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, equal space, but night, better structure for black. Good night. Yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, loser's bracket is best of two. So this is must win game for Rachmanov. If he does win, we get Armageddon. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll probably see a couple Armageddons, I'm sure. Uh, this one is a must win game for Blue, Blue Bomb. Bomb against Fabi. Maybe we can watch this one. Let's see what happened here. Ooh, he went with the E3 poison opening. I know this one. I'm a fan. It's a great way to get a very small plus. Very small, if anything. We take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know what? I think it does kind of work in rapid chess because players aren't going to be super, super booked up here. And okay, actually, this is live position. Um, mm hmm Compi seems to like white's chances quite a bit. And in general, when you were playing against isolated queen pawn, um, if black doesn't get anything special, then white is actually very happy here. Like, I think you got your dream set up against yeah. the IQP. He's controlling d4. There's really no way to trade off this pawn anytime soon. Right? So what do you do? Yeah, black just has to kind of stay solid. But uh, no, I like this for blue bomb. I mean, it's... Uh, not exactly easy to beat Fabiano Caruana. He's one of those aforementioned uh, good chess players. But, um, I mean, this is about as best as you can get, honestly, out of the opening. Like, And if I had to pair Caruana against Blue Bomb in Pickleball, I think I would also pick Fabi being the favorite. But I'm not sure. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I've seen him play some tennis. Blue Bomb, maybe... Is he a big tennis is guy? Is he a big tennis guy? Does anyone know Blue yeah. Bomb's tennis preferences? Yeah, yeah. Where are the Blue Bomb... The Blue Bomb enthusiasts here. ...folks at? Yeah. Oh, wait. We have more moves? Queen D6. Oh, we got a lot of moves. Oh, we're way behind. Well, <laughs> we're way behind. <laughs> we got distracted D6. there. Queen E2. Knight G5. Takes, takes. Okay. Things stayed rather equal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say Fabi kind of played this one well, because White has lost... Um, whatever advantage he had. Bishop pair looks nice. I Bishop pair plus IQP minus <laughs> equal. Is that kind of the calculations we're looking at here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's about about equal here. Also, Black managed to trade off all the rooks. Oh, which the is Dominguez definitely game is bonkers, his someone says. Favor. Okay, let's, let's take go a look. There. We haven't given them any love yet. Wow, okay, what happened here? This, so their first game was a draw. So this is loser's bracket still. So the, the second game, if it's decisive will end the match. And I actually like this. So in the Italian game, you see this move sometimes. It's not like bishop g5. I think it makes the position a little bit more interesting. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Wow, 97. Yeah, look at that. Opening up this file, which looks like it would be bad for black, right? But a lot of times it could be a double-edged sword there. 97 is extremely... Uh... I don't even know what to call it. Bold. Wow, it was a... It's very bold. Well, no one wants to castle right now, that's for sure. <laughs> Must be some kind of uh, prep, but not anymore. I, I well, don't know what this I, is. We... Uh, look, I don't even think the computer knows what this is. G3. Oh, boy. Great suggestion, Troy Chess. Thank you for that. This is a little bit insane. Yeah. Yeah, very, very unclear position. White's up a pawn, but clearly black is active for it. Bishop g4 now looks looks nice. Bishop h3 also is not so funny from white's point of view. And then castle queenside. Yeah, I, I, I dig it. I uh, I could play this. Dominguez. Maybe trying to win with black and just win the match. Avoid Armageddon altogether. I think that's a good strategy. And we've seen an Armageddon. Almost every Armageddon we've seen, black has won. Because black gets draw odds, mm -hmm. and I think psychologically it's just very, very tough on the person with the white pieces. Yeah, it can depend. I mean, really, like, some events you see white winning every game. Let's go around. Let's see what's happening. So, we'll let Dominguez think here. Ben Forrest. Oh, 
What happened here? He got a bit something against uh, So. So they had their Italian game, c6, takes on d4, d5, rook a3, e5, white gets e5. And they had a fawn, bishop c2, and I don't know, looks fun for white. You got the two bishops, rook on a3 is ready to enter the game. Okay, takes on f4, so he's going for something concrete, but I don't... Why did he give up the bishop? That doesn't seem... That doesn't seem good. He just gave up. Black already had a knight on f4. And now he had two knights, right? Like trying to use this f4 square. Now he's got one. I think if I had all the time in the world, I'd want to swing my rook around, get my queen in, get my knights in. Maybe it just clears a little space. Look at this nice little diagonal we've got here. I don't know. I, I don't think this is super, super clear. No, definitely not. Definitely some attacking chances for... Uh, for white. Although, if they can trade off this light squared bishop somehow, I don't know. But you can't do that now because this is hanging. I just. Well, you, yeah. can, you can play bishop f5 because bishop will also be hanging on c2. So it's definitely True. a move. Hmm. Oh. Queen h4. Queen h4. I think he's just posturing. I don't think he really has an attack. I think white, <laughs> white just goes rook g3 or something and you holds, get your rook in? holds the fort. Yeah, knight f3. Can we have so. a quick look at Aronian collars? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, this is winner's bracket. So round one, Aronian won. So he's up one point in this match. Oh, and we got another e3 poison. Let's go. Yeah, basically the same structure. Uh, here, Levon played this one much more aggressively, and uh, now he looks totally fine. Yeah, look at this. Maybe Bishop's you can even get d4 in or saying hi. <laughs> yeah, trade off your IQP, you'd be happy. Rook c8. Yeah, it seems like black has a lot of a lot of decent moves here. Someone asked, "Why is it taken Wei Yi so long to reach his full potential?" I think he's doing really well in, in the tournament. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's doing great. He's crushing Grand Chess Tour. Which I'm also covering on the side here when I'm not doing Champions Chess Tour. <laughs> um, I don't know. Sometimes players uh, take a couple of years to develop. I, I think uh, it's not really well known. And Nepo was another one. You know, he was, let's say, not at 2800 level for many years, and then all of a sudden he, he shot up, and now he's a top top five player. So, yeah, people develop. Um, Okay, okay. Let's okay, Blue Bomb Caruana, what's happening here? This game got... Spicy. <laughs> very, very spicy. Very, very spicy. Yeah. Uh, and now... Ooh, you gotta be oh. careful here. It's black. You don't want to get mated. So King F8. Or some sort of perpet action too, right? Well, definitely white needs to win. So he's not interested in a perpetual. But Knight F5 now looks... Uh... Looks very annoying. Just knight f5 and you're attacking everything. g7. Oh, we're not on the live game. What's going on? We got moves? No, I think we're on the live game. Oh, we are. Okay, eval yeah. bar is just going crazy. Eval bar yeah, doesn't know Yeah, they just don't up. know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So knight f5 here looks uh, like pain. But also look at the time. It's almost five minutes to one minute. Those are not odds I would want against Bobby here. No, no, not good. That's pretty tough. But you've got the move on the board, knight f5. You play my move, also not good. <laughs> not a good sign. All right. Uh, <laughs> but it does look annoying. I mean, you're just hitting g7. Queen is getting in. Queen and knight, very annoying combo. White just wants queen g7, knight h6. So queen e6 only move found. Takes. Got Fabi's alter ego in the chat. <laughs> Gabiana Farwana. <laughs> now, it's still messy. A lot of stuff hanging here for white. But uh, King F4, what a king move. F4. Just using Defending the king. everything. I guess we're not afraid of, of anything here. <laughs> but now I think time for black to push. Like A5, start running the queen side. Yeah, it's not really sure how you want to follow up this attack. Although, if you have a few more moves, maybe you could, um, maybe you could try something. I'm sure that White was wishing they had a little bit more pieces on the board here. Yeah, then Black's King would be 
toast. It's, um, okay, Fabi using his time advantage now. He's trying to figure out how to uh, how to deal with this. And while we see that going on, we have some action in the Sevian Rachmanov game. Let's look. So. All right, but let's not let's not spend too long because Blumel has to win that position. He's got a minute. But looky here. We've got these really nice dominant rooks. The knights look look very fun here. Not a lot of development for white. It's kind of tough. No, it looks uh, looks busted for white. I think Sevian's just in control. Uh, let's go to Blue Bomb. <laughs> let's go to Blue Bomb. <laughs> Is he asked? He has to win this. He has a chance. A five played by Fabi. But Queen D four. Ooh, he wants Knight G seven with a fork. This We've seen dangerous. some forks. We I think he might forks. win this one. The queen and knight are just such a difficult combo to deal with. I would give him more chances if he were the one with three minutes and Fabi were the one with 55 seconds. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why it's with not more easy. Time, yeah, with more time, you can avoid these evil little knight forks. Okay, king f8 now for Knife black. Knife on f5, spoon on f4, great comment, yep. I think king f8 here. I don't know what else you can play. Maybe you can move the queen. If you move the queen, I'm very worried about getting checkmated. Yeah, you have to, you really have to think here. So King f8. So we see your move on the board. Yeah, not good. <laughs> not good. And now what does white do? I mean, he has a lot of moves. He can give check, he can push yeah, g5. Yeah, here, forcing here. It's queen g7. Queen g7, king e8. Wow. Has to be a win here for white. I mean, it just looks so. But he's, yeah, he's stuttering a bit because he doesn't. He doesn't see have it. any time. But do do we even see it? No, I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, it's probably just some move like queen b7, queen c7. Maybe some sort of stupid little knight thing. I don't. Yeah, it could be. But that's really tough to play when your king's so exposed. So queen d4. Fabi's thinking. Ooh, it's a rough position. At some point, I mean, if you push your pawns, then you're just going to lose them. So actually, you know what? Fabi might end up having to repeat. Or somewhat repeat here. Which, king f8. Yeah. Yeah, king f8 looks... Which gives Blue Bomb the time to play whatever tactic he wanted Then he has to time maybe. to figure it out again. Yeah. But I don't know what it was. Let's see. Uh, I think it was just like queen... Queen c7? Queen c7. Oh, called it. Queen c7. Queen c7. Don't ask me why. Uh, <laughs> I just knew it was it was right. Queen d4. But anyway, yeah, Fabi going down on time. Very difficult position. I mean... Really tough. I think it's basically impossible to play this one perfectly. Honestly, sometimes it feels like a knight is worth double in blitz and yeah. a bishop. Yeah, knight's very tricky. And Blue Bomb knows this is his chance. And he's also got the psychological edge of like knowing he has to win. Like, is that an edge though? Yeah, because if they were tied, then he'd be thinking like, oh, I should play it safe, make sure I don't lose, make a draw. But no, he has to win. So it, it simplifies things. And he can just focus on the chessboard, forget who his opponent is, and just make the moves needed to uh, decide the game. Hello, Daniel. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I think we might see... Oh, he's thinking, and the time is going so low, which actually yeah, 40 is seconds. very... We were just talking about how you don't want to let your time go low when you have that knight on the board. It's really, really tough. This but time, just you gonna, know him. He's just going to be calculating, calculating everything. Okay. Okay. He's giving him another chance to go queen g7, queen c7. Maybe there's something even better. But this is this is a key moment. Okay, e4. Just push Which him. apparently is the Oof. move. Wow, e4. <laughs> apparently that's the move. Very nice. I think anything was winning, honestly, but yeah, this is looking uh, kaput for black. Queen a7. And maybe you... Gives another check. King f7, avoiding the fork. No, it's what do you be, do? How do you follow this be up? Over. Queen c7 now. And g5. I mean, black still has no checks. So queen g7, king e8, and okay, it's not over, but he just takes this pawn. Easy. Just take this one pawn. Black, no counterplay. 
and white is just dominating. Why not queen g7? Um, the king could just move over and then you need to repeat the variation a little bit. Which might not be bad timing wise, although we have 20 seconds to 18 seconds. Hello, Matt. How are you doing? Shout out, Whoa. Matt. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we won the second pawn. Oh, what okay, a nice okay. tactic. So now we're going to see some technique. Now it's all about the end game. Yeah. No, it should be completely winning. Knight and two pawns are usually very, very good. Uh, he might get a little nervous because he knows it's completely winning. And time. But I think dude's too strong. He, he's played too many uh, title Tuesdays to mess this up. Whoa. Mh5. Okay, he's uh, he's hesitating. Struggle. Yeah, ninety two now. Yeah, you get the knight okay. to d four. Knight d four, king, king d five. Oh, oh, and time is running low. We have nine easy. seconds. Where are you gonna go? Okay, knight f three. Nice thing for white is you can just keep moving around. Yeah. Now he's got the pawn defended. He can move his king now. Yeah, folks, two second increment. Two second increment. Okay, seconds for Fabi, bishop yeah. f5. We will check out Dominguez Vidit after the game because this game will probably be over pretty quickly, one way or another, just because of the time. Wow. G6 okay. now? No, G6, you might get a little stuck. Okay, he's played it. But what's his next move? Where do you go? Maybe just reroute the... G7, oh. but king f7. Oh, knight f5. Oh, he holds onto the pawn. Oh. And it's a winning king and pawn end game. If takes, takes. King would come into e6 and... Wow, look at this technique. Knight d4, and now king comes to h6. So low on time too. Yeah. Machine. Wow. Absolute machine. How are you going to stop these pawns? And then we see it, That's and this it. is going to go into Armageddon, isn't it? Yep, that goes to Armageddon. Timely resignation. They always resign so quickly, too. I'm always impressed by the speed of the resignation. And we will just check. It looks like Vidit has won this Vidit match. wins. Wow. Okay, this was a crazy game. Yeah, this was the insane position. Yeah, we saw it here. We saw it here. Wow, is it? Four, so sacks the exchange, takes on c7. Oh, what a tactical game. Look at this. Yeah, total mess, total mess. Rook c4. Takes, oh my, and this is just going to get... Nice. If king takes, there's 96 check there, so he just gets a ton of compensation. Wow, that was a really just, beautiful uh, game. Either lost on time or... Oh yeah, I think he lost on time because if... Queen moves, and there's going to be queen g6 check, and white just uh, hits everything, yeah. and that's game over. That is insane. What a game. So that was a very, very cool game. Go Vidit. Wow. Let me see here. Pull this up. There we go. Okay. Um, who else we got? Okay, Sovan Forest. This is their second game. Oh. Oh, what is this? Wesley, rook for two knights. Rook and two pawns for two knights. And look at this exposed king. Yeah, looking good for Wesley. Material-wise, he's doing well. This d pawn is always a long-term weakness. He could even go for the end game. I think end game, yeah, would be nice for him. He allows it. And, uh, ooh, unpleasant Trade for Jordan Trade on here. your terms. Yeah, exactly. Not wanting to help White with the Yeah, you don't want to fix structure. their pawn structure. He takes with the bishop. Okay, knight e2. Oh, we have some action Sevian. Should we check that? There's 20 seconds there. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this one looks uh, looks like something's going down. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So where he left them... It's like, you know, when you babysit kids and you like leave them alone for a second and then you like look back and everything's a mess. <laughs> How you feel with some of the games? Yeah. No, they've, they've wow. made a huge mess. <laughs> Queen C1. <laughs> but it looks like White's just getting mated here. Yeah, it takes on G3 and it's, and we see it's it. all over. And we see it. And does that mean the match goes to Sevian here? 
Yeah, seven yeah. wins, two, two. The match, and that is wild, which means, unfortunately, Rachmanov is sent to the chess.com pit. He is out of the competition. He's out. He is out. Knocked out. Yeah, very impressive from Sam Sevian. And, yeah, looking back here on our last loser's bracket game. So, so Wesley here, yeah, he wants to convert this, just end the match. He's got Rook and two pawns against two pieces. This is kind of the dream endgame when you got Rook against two pieces. Folks, instructive moment, okay, pay attention. So Rook versus two pieces. Normally two pieces are going to be stronger, especially in the middle game. But in the end game, the Rook can kind of outplay them because the Rook is very good, especially if you have a passed pawn, like here Black has this passed H pawn. So definitely good winning chances for Wesley. You can also create a second pawn on the Queen side with some B5 or C5. Uh, at some point the king's a little bit forced to defend the pawn structure looks a little weak yeah and this is where wesley shines so i wouldn't be surprised if um if we see a wesley so victory although if anyone in the comments thinks it's going to be a draw i would be interested in your perspective but this looks pretty pretty dominating yeah c5 Wins another pawn because it takes and too many pass pawns for black. But 20 seconds for Wesley. Let's see how he uh, converts this. Pretty well, it looks like. <laughs> 17 seconds to 7 seconds. You think Forrest will hold? Chess Pred says, we will hold you to that. Uh -huh. no, Rook takes b3. He's not holding anything here. Someone says, I remember when this old YouTube video when 10 year old Sevian, when he played against Greg Shahadi. I think we were actually just talking we about, just that. Talking about yeah. that. I was there. I was at that camp. I remember that game, actually. I remember <laughs> when that <laughs> happened. I still remember it to this day. Okay, three pawns for Wesley. And this is the problem. You got pawns on both sides of the board. The pieces just can't deal. And uh, yeah, I think Jordan's just playing this out. On inertia, basically, he's got no time to uh, come to his senses and resign. But it's uh, it's never, yeah. Never All right, there. and that That's means it. Wesley has taken the match. He's eliminated Van Forrest. Who is sent to the chess.com pit where all the people who are eliminated are sent. Yeah. It's not a very pleasant place. Very sad. Very sad. You, they're just all in like a Zoom meeting together and then they, they go around uh telling facts about themselves it's a very very tough place um do they actually mm -hmm. is that how we're do you like <laughs> to share fun fair stories fun facts <laughs> <laughs> that's where you go once you're eliminated <laughs> uh okay let's see what else we got oh how about this esopenko oparin game looks like esopenko's low on time right here this is in our winner's bracket so what's going on in this match? They're one win apiece. Yeah, so it's exactly equal. They have four games, so there will be a comeback chance should we see a loss here. But right. It will be tough. Um, who's playing for the win? Okay, clearly Black is playing for the win. He's got the two Bs and uh, like four extra minutes. So that's a lot. That is a lot. So, but will Oparin be able to convert this? He's definitely going to try. I mean, you got some ideas here. You got bishop c5, rook a2. Um, some problems here for white on the f2 square. Okay, bishop f5. Bishop c5, he's coming in. I think we have our first Armageddon match. Oh, Fabi Blue Bomb. Should we go there? Yeah, let's take a look. And do we have, can you check the, wait, I can actually check that to see what the original times were. Yeah, let's see this game. So it looks like Blue Bomb got white. Again, goes for the uh, E3 poison. But this time basically just plays a Kali setup. And, uh, this is Armageddon, folks. That means white is in a must-win situation. He gets more time. And the time, yeah, the time looks equal. So it must, Fabi must have made a great bid. Yeah, or he simply uh, caught up on the clock. But importantly, Black has draw odds in this game. So unless Blue Bomb wins this, uh, he is out getting sent 
home from the tournament. It looks looks very solid for black. I think Fabi yeah, chose well to take black, and now he just he's just better. Like he's got no problems, and he's better. And this is why I think it is better to be Oof. black in Armageddon. Oof, psychologically. Well, you got two chances to win. You can either win the game or you can draw, you can the, draw game. the game. Yeah, so. and your opponent is gonna over push because they know they have to win. But yeah, the bidding system is interesting because basically the players bid on how much time they're willing to accept with black. Maybe we'll start to see the bids get lower and lower. Oh, we see a move, an E4 here. E4. Yeah, it should be three. So now everything's just hanging in white's position. A pawn, H pawn. And you're wondering where exactly do you go? I think just bishop takes A4. Just start eating. Start eating things. Yeah, buffet's open. And there's not really, you don't have much time for counterplay, do you, here? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you could try to disrupt this, uh, this pairing, but still doesn't look too great. Yeah, and we just see the buffet is open. You're right, bishop takes. E5. He's hoping for some trick on bishop takes b5. Oh, what a trick. Jules, bishop takes b5. He wants rook takes c3. Rook takes c8. Check mate. Queen wow. Six. Trick of the season. But I think Fabi's not going to fall for it. Takes on d3. Again, one of those good players in g6. He's like, no tricks for you. <laughs> no trick. I, I know, I know my tricks. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. So Fabi looks like he's going to win this Armageddon. And that means he plays uh, Wesley So, I believe, wow. in the next round. And it's... That's insane. Yeah. That's going to be a really interesting game. Yeah, so we'll see what happens there. Yeah, and Blue Bomb had just a beautiful, beautiful end game. Like, he, he really played that well with his knight last game, but... Just to get here, yeah. Just to, to get here, game. but it's... Sometimes you just can't control it. So are you calling it for Bobby? Yeah, I mean, we can, I think, switch somewhere else because there's a lot of games going on, but I expect Fabi to uh, convert this one. All right, and I think that was our only Armageddon, right? So we have, let's see, an interesting game. Maybe back to Asapenko, because he had like 10 seconds. Okay, eh, not the most interesting end game. Black is trying to squeeze a little bit, but opposite color bishops. Uh, Asapenko definitely could blunder here, but likely a draw. This is a must win for Hakobian. Oh, Dubov Hakobian. Yeah. And since the score is 1.5 to 0.5, Hakobian has to win this. Oh, no. He could still draw one. Oh, he, oh because it's the winner's bracket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he'll have one more. But I think he'll want to win this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he is better. It's a tough one, though. Weird. Both sides have their double pawns, but it feels like Black's double pawns are somewhat more, uh, more useful here. My guess is, though, this should be a draw. And then he'll have white in the last game in this match to try and force a win. That will be really interesting. Let's just make sure we're not going to miss the end of this because that's our last loser's bracket match of the day. No, I think they'll play another match in the loser's bracket. There's no way they're going to let them just only play two games. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, yesterday these guys, they played... Uh, Eight games. Let's see. Okay. We've got... Yeah. Or maybe not. Detects. Maybe that will be the, the last yeah. match. Hold on. We're, we're, gonna, we're looking. Maybe, we're maybe they out. only make them do one a day. <laughs> uh, it'd be very surprising. I almost want them to, to play another match today because I feel it'd be better if neither person like preps as much, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Or yeah. maybe we'll see some crazy prep if we uh, get it tomorrow. Wesley versus Fabi. Just have them keep playing. No, maybe they'll get a break. But yeah, Fabi's still very much in control here, and he just needs a draw. So he doesn't even have to uh, to think too much to on win this. He just needs to not lose, basically. Easier said than done. Whoa, queen Whoa. b6. Whoa! Oh, is that a mouse slip? Was that? I feel like that was non-intentional. 
Maybe he wanted queen c6 or something. But queen c6 doesn't make sense for white. So I'm not sure what he wanted. Maybe queen a6. Queen a6 probably wanted. Mm. He wanted queen a6. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Although he was losing anyway. But it happens. And mm -hmm. we see a Botez Gambit. This is our first Botez Gambit of the, the tournament. Yeah. Un unintentional. Unintentional Botez Gambit. Unintentional. It happens. It's tough. I've had mouse slips in these chess.com tournaments. It's always heartbreaking. What can you do? But that means that Fabiano is moving on and will be playing Wesley So tomorrow in the loser's bracket. They have stayed out of the pit. Blue Bomb is sent to the pit, unfortunately, but very good games. The Zoom pit. The Zoom pit. Where you got to tell stories about your childhood. Um, all right, let's... <laughs> is that the ultimate punishment? <laughs> to, to acquaintances. Yeah, um, let's see here. So, Opar and Esipenko, they're still going. This one feels... Very, very drawish. Um, we still got this end game with Dubov. And let's see here. Maybe MVL here? MVL Martinez, so yeah. We, we do have a must win for Jospam here. Oh, no, it's not a must win, sorry. It's They have four matches, so he could technically draw this. Yes, yeah, he can draw, and he, he'll probably want to because he's worse here. Yeah, this does not and look very And then he'll pleasant. have a chance in the next game to win as white. Look at these, uh, these pawns. These pawns are looking straight at you. Let's see if we've got anything else here. Oh, and we are also low on time, but probably holding the draw. Both players are pretty low on time here. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one's just going to be a draw. Um, I think White's just going to move back and forth and, and hold it. It's really nice when you can do that. Uh, okay, so small advantage, but kind of tough. Yeah, here Hakobian's still trying to push this one a little bit. Uh, unlikely he'll be able to break Dubov's defenses, but uh, he's going to keep trying. But yeah, I expect this one to be a draw as well. What to do? Why is just staying put and hard to get in with your king as black? Hmm. It's tough because it feels like these pawns should be useful here. But uh, everything's a little yeah. bit stuck. But what to do? What to do? Why is just staying put? King on e3. You gotta maybe try g5 at some point, but after that, it's hard to imagine how you break through here as black. While we um, wait for these these games a little bit, should we do a call to action, take a break? What do you think? Uh, whatever you want to do. What do you want to do? We could take a we could um, do a quick call to action. It's probably All good right. timing. Call to action. You ready? We're ready. You gonna do this one or on me? I think it's on you. All right, I'll do. It. I'll, I'll be the mental support here. All right, folks. It's first call to action of the day. Very important. Here we go. You ha here's how or maybe it works. we could say it together. We do. All right, we'll, we'll do it together. <laughs> So whatever we say, you guys have to do, okay? This is the call. Folks, you're the action. All right, ready? Wait, wait. Can you do it in a British accent? No, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just do it anyway. Okay. All right, here we go. This one. Okay. One, two, three. It's, it's chess.com's 17th birthday, birthday and, and we're celebrating you with a special offer. offer. For a limited, limited time only, claim 50% off your first payment for any premium membership. Not only does premium membership unlock features like unlimited game review and puzzles, your subscription also powers events like the Champions Chess Tour. Use exclamation oh, special or head, head to gochess.com slash special and enter code CCT24 to unlock, unlock this, this offer, offer now. now yeah look at that okay folks now now it's your turn um so what are they doing i was just left <laughs> so, hanging sorry <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing i was just left there i had my hand up code cct24 let's uh let's take a look at the game do we have that up yes yeah, this is this is what they see the game. They see this. Um, 
Can, can we see the game? Can we see the game? <laughs> now, that's a good question. Right, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. There. There's the game. All right. Let's see if anything of interest has been happening while we've been um, doing our synchronized memeing routine. That was pretty good. Oh, wait. We lost the chat. I thought that was pretty good, too. I would love to do karaoke with Kostya. We almost did karaoke in Sweden, but uh, we went to the karaoke bar, a bunch of us. There was like five of us. And we get there and we're like, let's do karaoke, except... Everyone who was doing karaoke were like karaoke professionals. Yeah, they were like they were so good, like professional, like singers. professional karaokeers. Like that's their job is to sing. And we were not not and, about to get up. And it's not our that. job to, <laughs> to sing. Yeah, I mean, I could have gone up and done some like, you know, improvised chess analysis. I could have done that, but I don't I'm sure think, that would have been an absolute think that would have been blast the vibe. Yeah. at the bar. <laughs> I think that would have been not exactly what they're looking for. Um, this is Aronian Kolars, and Aronian is leading this one 2-0. So he just needs a draw in this game to uh, clinch the match. And that looks very likely to happen right now because he's just in total control. Queen yeah, to six. This is and tough matchup. I mean, if anything, black is the only one that's really kind of worse here with the double pawn. You know, white's like. It's got the better structure. And in this, you don't really want to go to any sort of end game if you can avoid it. No. You don't want to have to push for an end game in maybe I, a slightly think... worse position. But what to do? Because F6 is hanging as well. So I think it's just kind of over. We didn't sing any songs. We were too nervous to sing any songs. Yeah, folks, they were too good. They were too good. This this like woman came up and she did like The Pretenders by Foo Fighters. Like Yeah. She was so good. It was, it was, it was so better good. than the original. It was better than the, it was, it, better was. Than the original. it was better than the original. That's how good it was. They were so good. No, no. If we went up, we would have humiliated ourselves. Yeah. I yeah. mean, gone viral for how badly we, we, we did. It, it would not have been a good look. People would have been laughing. I do love karaoke, though. I do love karaoke. Yeah, Kara so fun. Karaoke night. So fun. Karaoke night. We'll bring all the, all the chess players, the loser's pit. Everyone who loses and it gets sent to the pit has to participate in chess.com karaoke. karaoke. Yeah, for strangers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, what a move queen c6. He's just shutting the game down. Yeah, what do you do here? I don't know. I would just like resign, honestly. Even though, you, I mean, a draw ends the match, but I would just resign. <laughs> you can't just resign. <laughs> okay, trades queens. F5, I guess. Rook d6. Oh, man. Just trading down even more. You have to. He just wants to end the pain. End the suffering? End the suffering, yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I mean, I think one thing you see of these really strong players is that, like, even in these positions that are kind of hopeless for what they're going for, like, they still try their best, which is tough. I don't think us normal people do that. There's a lot of times we just resign or even in OTB in positions we don't like, you kind of just mentally throw in the towel, but they always stay sharp. So that's why we see all these huge shifts in Uval later on. Yeah, no, they're very resilient, these top guys. Um, and they, yeah, basically never give up. Uh, and they're very resourceful. They look for chances until the very end. Never don't give up. Great. Very true. This this one's a must win for... No, it's not. Okay, wow. Some people are just way ahead. Yeah, let's go to this game. I this think Levon's going to hold that one and clinch the, that match. That's a winner's match. Is this is clinch? MVL. Though, if he holds, don't they get one more game? Uh, in this match, yes, this is a draw. But in yeah. the Levon match, that was ah, their third. Uh, he's up 2-0. Um, so MVL, MVL, if he wins this game, he would win the match. And I think he, he, it's really only White here that's playing for the win. Even though he's down the exchange. But I like his bishop and pawn. White's kind of... He's got a nice grip here. Yeah. C-Town fan says, I imagine you can learn something for the future by playing on. That is very true. Every move you make, you can analyze... Especially if you do your best, like, it's very hard to analyze something where you're like, oh, I just mentally gave up. There's not much to analyze there. Oh, wow. And Jose just uh, just gives the exchange back, but he's confident he can hold this rook end game, pawn down. Uh, I'm pretty confident he can do so as well. This is fairly, fairly drawish. Yeah. Um, okay, so he'll draw this one. He'll get another chance to uh, catch up to MVL. And we have our fourth game, Esapenko versus Aparin. Fourth game, and this is with the score. It's exactly equal. 1.5 out of 3 for each player. Wowza. Okay, which means 
it's really anyone's game. If they draw this again, they go to Armageddon. If one wins, they win. So winner takes all here. We're going to see something super interesting. Let's go back and see what exactly happened here. Some sort of double Fianchetto system, right? Yeah, double Fianchetto. Slow buildup for white. And uh, yeah, Opar is just uh, playing this one classic positional style. And I love this move here for my friends in the chat. I love this kind of move, rook b3. You're really neutralizing those double rooks. They're very useless now with that, as long as this can't be attacked. So I see that a lot in these master games. But then queen c8, and then he just takes anyway. Because now bishop a4 was a threat, so he had to kind of avoid this one. But he's given up the b file. Mm. But I think he's still fine. He can go knight c3 and rook b1. And um, okay, about equal. But these players are gonna they're gonna push each other around a bit. A little shoving contest. Yeah, if you're a par and you don't want to go to Armageddon, this is your advantage right here. You wanna. Yeah, you got white. Yeah, your you opponent wanna, you doesn't have it. draw, so either win it here or yeah, or get stuck in Armageddon. an Armageddon. But uh, what can you do? I mean, it's not uh, not a whole lot you can play for here as white. Yeah, I'm almost wondering. Maybe f4. Yeah. It would be tempting to double the pawns, but I think you're going to have some issues with uh, this huge pawn clump later on if you do that and you give up your bishop pair. Yeah, the darkster bishop. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to want to create that weakness. Not super fun. Maybe if you get your knight in somehow. Mm hmm. Well, this is this bishop is doing stuff preventing any sort of. Yeah. Seventh file. No, I'm thinking knight c3 is the move here and then rook to b1, right? Just challenge the open file but uh he's thinking about something i'm wondering maybe some king h2 and try to reroute your knight somehow too slow yeah probably slow black just goes bishop f6 um maybe f5 somewhere bit of a thing i like a sapenko's profile picture kind of like giving the smile <laughs> Go ahead. <He> did. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> For you guys who don't know, Costia does impressions. It's quite good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's my that's my Russian. <laughs> Go ahead. Do your worst. <laughs> oh, D4. D4. Oh, wow. See, it's that smile. He provoked him. D4. D4. Okay. Uh, I don't love this move, I, I'm just going to say, because it creates some weaknesses in white's position. Now, e pawn structure. is weak, c4 pawn is weak. But okay, Oparin is a 2600 grandmaster. He knows what he's doing. And uh, he wants to. Yeah, you got these little. Uh, he got rid of his d3 the weakness, here. but no, with these the gap. pawns are a little bit. Yeah. And it's basically a Sicilian structure now, which is interesting. Now, with either player went for in the opening but that's what they got yeah although don't you usually have the b pawn in these sicilian structures no sometimes sometimes not yeah this does not look as uh fun but yeah it kind of looks like a makeshift ah roxy bind sorry my nope. bad <laughs> we're back <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like makeshift marazzi bind exactly yeah like a like a walmart marazzi bind yeah walmart <laughs> <laughs> yeah the marazzi bind we have at home Exactly. Yes, we don't have to go out to get a Maroxy bind, folks. This is, this is, we have one at home and this is it. Without the B pawn, a little vulnerable. That rook will probably be coming in. It yeah, rooks eight. Yeah, nice. you're gonna have to defend this. But you know what? We did not have to go out and buy a Maroxy bind because we have one at home. And now Parn's like, who opened the C file? How did this, <laughs> how did this happen? How did this, how did this happen? We're all looking for the guy that opened the C file. Who could have done it? Yeah. Um, no, white's under a bit of pressure here. Let's take a look at some of the other games if there is action. Yeah, what else we got? So Dubov, Hakobian. Oh, yeah. This is game four. Game four. On Hakobian, must win must situation. Must win. As white, which is probably the most interesting position to be in. Yeah, that's what you want. If you're going to have to win, at least get the white pieces. It's a lot of... Uh, pieces on the board uh i mean black's position looks totally fine black's pieces look nice and active but there's uh, yeah there's stuff here you know you can pull as white so 
he uh, he will have a chance. Yeah, the time's pretty much equal. You're playing against the IQP. We're seeing a lot of these IQP structures. Do we have any right. IQP lessons for the chatters? Since we've been seeing them like mm. 25 times today. Well, yeah, here's the basic thing about the IQP. This is instructive, folks. Okay, so use your ears and, and, your and, eyes. and, and listen. Okay, listen. Oh. Uh, less scrolling, more hearing. Okay, so the side playing with the isolated queen pawn, their job is to kind of stay active. They want to have active pieces in the position. The side playing against the pawn, they want to kind of keep the pawn under control, keep the other side's pieces at bay, try to trade off minor pieces if they can, and then one day pile up, lock in, and take this guy. Um, so long maneuvering game usually in these structures, but sometimes it can get sharp and open up very quickly. And we're seeing that activity that you're talking about here, especially with this move. Uh, and I like at first glance, it seems a little weird to move your bishop back, but we're really getting ready for just some Queen kind C7, of absolutely. wild battery here. And you get these diagonals, you have all this action. It, it could look pretty interesting very soon. Yeah, if black gets the queen to h2, I mean, I don't care if your name is Magnus Carlsen, you're getting checkmated. What, what if your name is Magnus Carlsen, would you? And Would you have less? You might, you, you, might still get, you might survive. You might survive. Might survive. No, but yeah, everyone gets everyone gets mated here. Um, or you have to create like a huge weakness, right, in your structure. Yeah, it's not super fun. Sometimes you have to do. Playing against it shouldn't try to control the square in front of the IQP. Yeah, isn't that generally a thing? Controlling d like d4 in this position. Absolutely. But here Hakobian oh. goes e4. <laughs> Trading off the IQP? He's like, to heck with your IQP. Um, yeah, I don't like this move. Number one, black could play d4. Black can also take on e4 and just trade off his main weakness. Uh, I think it's a little panicky. Like he's trying to create something in a position where... Yeah, maybe open up his two a like brooks on. a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I think d4 now actually for black looks... Looks very tempting. I wonder what he has in mind. D4, just attacking the knight. Yeah, attacking both knights, actually, because you have you have this one and also kind of keeping your eye on that one. Too. Yeah, which opens up tactics with this knight to move. Maybe not eventually, because, well, maybe. I don't know. I think he's expecting him to take and create that sort of fix his weaknesses. So Dubov, good chances here, and he just needs to draw this game, and then he uh, advances to the next stage. Hmm. Dulles should play in Division 1. Yeah, we saw so many strong players entering Division 2 and Division 3. It really, with these kind of rapid games, it's anyone's, anyone's time, anyone's game. Whoa, okay, mm, and we're four. completely ignoring the pawn. Yeah, also reasonable. Wowza. He, he gave a pawn and Dubov was like, nah, I, I don't care about your pawn. Your pawn's stupid. Go away, pawn. Did something completely different. Knight f4. Okay, yeah, forces bishop takes, looks like. So black gets the dark screwed bishop. Tempo on the knight. Maybe white just goes back here, knight f3, and uh, might get some trades on e4. No, it looks like it's about equal now, I guess. Get this one and then takes on e4 coming soon. But uh, that's what Dubov wants. He just needs a draw. He advances. Mm. I don't think Dubov is the type to take a draw when he can go for a win. I don't know. We we will see on that one. We'll see. I think I think he grabs a draw at the first opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just clinch the match. I don't know what he's going to do. That would be my advice to him. Just clinch the match. Don't be a hero. Great. <laughs> My advice to him is be a hero. Give us some interesting games. We want to see no, it. Don't be a hero. Be a hero. <laughs> Do not. Be and we have heroic. this here, and is another similar situation where Jaspam needs to win. Must win. Okay. Must win. So Jaspam should be a hero. I think we can agree on that. Yes, he needs to be a hero. He needs a hero. This I need a hero. Hero time. Exactly. Da, 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 da. He's got to be. Da, 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 da. Got to be larger than life. Whew. I need a hero. No, it's a good song. Okay, B6, <laughs> Rook D1. And this is what this is what we get the big bucks for, folks. <laughs> yeah. 
68 now. He's he's got some he's got, he's got some nice plus. Position. He's got some plus. Black is the one with the IQP here. Another IQP. So many IQPs. And white, you know, he has a nice grip. He's traded off some pieces. He's got his stuff piled on. Yeah, you see IQPs in so many positions. Now, how to exploit this? Maybe just triple on the default. Rook D3, Rook D1, and eventually you just take this pawn. How is Black going to defend it? Would it be too enthusiastic? F five is a move, yeah, for sure. F five. To F five. But you have to, you got to be clear on the follow up there. And it's not so obvious to me. What I like about White's structure is that he's really restricting the dark squared bishop, and this bishop feels like you know he's not doing nothing. I don't know. I would go for this kind of plan and then just try to eat this guy. This is division two. Someone asked, "Are we going to look at division three? I don't think we have division three today, do we? I uh, know we definitely do. Uh, Should we take a look? All right, I thought we do. Um, <laughs> at some point we will, I but it let's was in here. let's finish with these matches and then we'll because uh, this is just the Division Two games. But then we'll yeah we'll check in with Division Three as well. Yeah, we should uh, probably do that soon while they're still. Little... Otherwise, we're going to Armageddon soon. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And we probably want to be on D two for that. Oh, but we have stuff in this game. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. good reminder. Thank you. We will take a look at Division Three soon. There are some interesting messy. games there. Whoa. Whoa, he just took Whoa. on f7. Okay, okay. Takes, takes. Takes on f7. No shame. No but, fear. But, but for what? For what? e5? Oh, okay. Hakobian. I mean, this is his style. He's a Mikhail Tall-like attacker. And this, he this just goes is not, for it. I don't care what the eval says. This is a little scary. you got to be a little, a little careful here. Yeah. But Dubov isn't scared. No. This is this is also Dubov's Dubov style, a, right? <laughs> yeah, crazy attacker himself. Yeah, he, he's, he, he's not he has impressed. No fear. This is a Yebotoke situation for uh, a Yebotoke for him. Mm -hmm. You got e5, but I got my d4. Okay, takes takes on c3. Yeah, what's the problem? Can we Indeed. take a, a quick look at d3? Uh, all right, you don't want to see how this plays. We will, out. we will. We'll come back. It won't take long. Let's just take a quick look. Insane position. All we right, let's, let's switch to, to D3. All right. We'll have to switch the scene as well. Oh, that's the bracket here. Go ahead. And you hit transition. I'm going to show you how to do it. And there we go. That's Very how exciting. you use OBS. All right. <laughs> we learn new things every day. <laughs> Okay, now we're on division three. Let's find uh, let's find a game here. Do we have? That's loser bracket round two. Yeah, division three. Maybe we uh, maybe we don't have any live games right now. Okay, let's go back to division two. <laughs> I don't know. We're still here. We gotta switch the scene back. We've, I will take we're my hand off the mouse. Yeah, we're both on. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to drive. And uh, yeah, Division 3. That's D1. This is D1 even. Let me go to... All right. Yeah, let's go back to Division 3 for this one. We could actually take a quick look at Anisha's game, but we can do that after the Armageddon. We can take a quick look at D3 at the end of the, the match and just see if we missed any super cool games. Yeah. Wait, I think this is the wrong window, though. All right, I'll let you take it. I think this was the Division 3 one. Because now we're on... Yeah, should be on Division 2. No, we're on... Oh, there are games going. Yeah? There are games going. Yeah, you see? Oh, okay. Well, these yeah, must have uh, just started. All right, let's open up one of these guys. So we didn't miss anything. Go us. Yeah. Look, guys, we're on top of it, we're, okay? We got it. We got it. Don't ask us why games are live or not live. <laughs> we uh, figure it out. Here we go. All right. So, but what is this? This is Giri Aturazaga, Losers Bracket, so they round leave. three. So, first game of two. First game of two. Hello, Stan. Yes. And we see... This, this looks like kind of similar to the Meroxy position we saw before, except less Walmart version. Less Walmart version, yes. Ah, uh, yes. I'm just looking at what matches we have today.
Okay. okay, in this position we see f3. The king is completely safe despite being on the second rank, friends. And this game's just started. It's just started, although we see a little bit of a time discrepancy here. Seems pretty equal. Let's see what's going on in Rosilov versus Mamadov. Wowza. Yeah, these matches basically just started. Maybe we should go back to Division 2 because those games were, were ending. Okay, we can, we can do that. All right, Division 2. Switch back. Do we want to add a little more gain as well on the camera? Oh, yeah. Let's bump up the camera. And okay, it looks like Dubov managed to uh, keep control here. He's held on to his extra, extra bishop. And like I said, he will go for the win, even when he only needs the draw. Well, yeah, I mean, okay, uh, Hokobian <laughs> sacrificed a piece, so, you know, of course, he's going to take the extra piece. Who wouldn't? Someone says, I'm sure this has been around, but I like the bar to show who has the advantage. I do, too. I do as well. Yeah, well, extra piece. What you going to do? Oh, Rick C1. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that's over. That's over. So Dubov's winning this one. Going to be Rick up. I think resigns time and this is the must win game for Jaspam. So Jaspam, he still has a chance yeah he still has his chances look at this pawn structure it's not very pretty yeah no this he has an extra pawn though so he can afford to lose one but it's not pleasant for black one. yeah for sure yeah especially just you know it is mvl's turn so he's gonna probably try to avoid that <laughs> but yeah it could be pretty nice. Maybe rookie five here or something. Um, rookie five makes sense. I wonder if you could even. This seems a little dangerous, but. G four could happen absolutely. But white's Scooch white's over. playing on the king side. Yeah, rook h three, queen d two. Looking at the h pawn. Saying hello. Very hard to defend that, which is probably what MBL's calculating. No, no, very right dangerous now. here for MBL. How do you how do you defend that? Two minutes down. Oh, yeah, it's going to be sharp. Okay, big chance for Yaspam. He has to win this one. Force uh, force the Armageddon. What do you think, chat? Do you think he has a chance to win this? Who do you think is going to win this? Keep in mind, must win for Jaspam to force the Armageddon. Otherwise, he is going to the loser's bracket and he will be forced into doing chess.com karaoke. Stay tuned. And no one wants No one, no wants, one wants that. that. Yeah, no one wants, <laughs> no one wants that. that. The Believers. Breakthrough thinks MVL will win. Daniel says he's a believer. Oh, MVL goes for the Rook endgame. That's smart. That's very practical. You don't get mated in the endgame. You might lose well, it still, but you don't get mated. Mm -hmm. Interesting that we're further trading down. Oh, oh, this one. This one way it wrong. It went south very quickly. And he played, he played that so fast. Trade forced? He played it so fast, too, all this. Or queen e6. Mm. Yeah, I guess check. And That's rough. Somewhere white missed the uh, missed the advantage because Eval Bar definitely liked. Uh... I think you just don't want to trade queens there, yeah. Well, he had to. I mean, it was check. What are you gonna do? Well, no, before that, you don't have to take right here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have a different move. I think this was fine. I think White is doing well in this end game, and then maybe Rook F1 here or something. He uh, he goes for this Rook D2. He just allows Black to get his pawn back, and now it's just completely equal. Okay, I mean you do have this kind of bad pawn structure, but with MVL, like yeah, King defense. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's gonna. It's there's really nothing here for White. Now draw. So MVL likely advancing uh, without Armageddon. And do we have? It looks like we have no other games. So we have our results. Dubov won. So that means that Dubov He's is, up. is advancing. Hakobian sent, well, to the loser bracket, right? Yes. Alrighty. And yeah, we have Aronian, as we saw, is advancing. I wonder if there's any. Yeah. I think this is the last match in the winner's bracket. Should we check D3 now? Now I think we can 
Well, we either watch this play out yeah. or we go to D3. 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 <laughs> let's, let's go to D3. Um, we'll look back in a little bit. Yeah, we'll check someone in. Someone but... keep an eye on that game. If anything significant changes, let us, your commentators, know and we will we will march over. Yeah, we're calling um, calling MVL on that one. Um, okay, Division 3. So a bunch of matches here in the loser's bracket. Uh, and we have winner's bracket quarterfinals. Oh, boy, oh. we have lots of games. Let's see. Um, Let's look at Tang. Tang, and what has been happening here? So what is... Grandilis is ahead in this match. And this is a must Full win for point. Tang. Must win and game for Tang. And it's not looking too good. No, it is not. <laughs> He's down the exchange. and uh, King's a little bit vulnerable. Playing Grandmaster, yeah. Has this knight here. We'll need to see a very tricky penguin. He's also down on time a little bit, although they're both low on time. This is this is a little tricky for him to hold on to everything here, hold on to his position. And a must win as black, never really the situation you want to be in here. Uh, min four draws. Oh, Min won his Armageddon game. Let's kind of see Oh wow! what happened here. A lot of drama today, Division 3. Right, we can start here so just taking control never really losing it min is a super strong player just look at this yeah keeping up on time and winning when he needs to so that means he will be advancing and yeah very nice play by by min here yeah, solid. Wow. So he knocks uh, Pravian down to loser's brackets. Alrighty, and then... Let's see, we have some more games. We have Warmer Dam here versus Lobanov, who was playing very, very well yesterday. Yeah, uh, Lobanov, he, uh, he beat Hans yesterday. Now, okay, he's playing Diak here, and this is their first game of two. Ooh, wait. Must we? Uh, sure. Let's go there. Alrighty. It's like Mamadov beating Rasulov. What's uh, what's happening here? What's happened here? Well, it looks like they had a full chess game, but let's let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's catch up to the finish. Uh, Rook takes. Oh, nice tactic. Rook d6. That's a puzzle Wowza. rush. Wowza. That's a puzzle rush. Oof. That's it. Oh, Get the rook back. oh my. Mm -hmm. Where'd all your pieces go? And, you know, in a few seconds, White is just looking at his position, being like, That's it. we got nothing. Peace down. Okay, Peace so down. Mamanov up one against Rasulov. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I accidentally. It's okay, you just click. Yeah. Hide that. Okay. So, were we just looking at this? Uh, no, it's a different game. Ah, here we go. So Warmer Dawn against Danishvar. I think this is also a loser's bracket. So two game match, game one. Oh, exchange sack. Oh boy. Wowza. And then White doesn't Whoa. take the exchange, just gives his queen instead. And I don't think this is enough for White. I think Black's queen here is pretty strong. Also, look at the, the vulnerability of this king here. Material aside, it's not super easy yeah but queen yeah is just gonna get in and uh start munching yeah buffet's about to open golden corral wow all right let's go to a niche okay giri terazaga this is also game one giri up six minutes uh on the clock which i'm gonna say is a lot and his position looks Good, too. You always have this knight g6 and all these potential mate threats on the back rank. People take the longest in losing positions. That's it's super problem. tough to pick between a few bad moves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like when all the moves you have are not great. That's when people take time because you're always looking for that one miracle. But sometimes you just don't get it. No, he's going to need a miracle here. He's going to need a miracle. Yeah, and we're seeing... The buffet has opened there. And did the Jaspa match end in a draw? 
I don't know. <laughs> you're asking, I, I'm seeing the same uh, same screen you are. Let's see. Yeah, that game was drawn. Okay, which means MVL is moving forward. So MVL wins wins the Ospa match exactly. Alrighty, and that moves us solely to Division Three, which is actually incredibly strong here, as we can see by the players on the board. Yeah, Division Three stacked. Yeah, I mean, you got Geary. Uh, enough said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Queen D three. Okay, but can White just go for the end game here? Take and rookie seven. Maybe Queen B two is more of a killer move. Queen B two. Keep the queens on the board. Keep the rook defended. Prepare rookie seven. And then do a little checkmate. A little checkmate dance? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, queen b2 looks... Also, just strategy-wise, like you might want to que keep your queen on the board because your opponent has very little time. Keep it yeah. complicated. No, absolutely. Don't give him the increment. But we know Geary. We know Geary. <laughs> he goes for the end game. Also, if you think you can outplay your opponent in the end game, go for the end game as well, I guess. It's typical Anish. You know, if you if you can win with queens on the board, why not win with queens ten off times the board. slower <laughs> with queens? <off. laughs> you know, you want, he wants to prolong the uh, the suffering. The suffering, exactly. He he is enjoying himself here. Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, what's what's not to enjoy? Your opponent has ten seconds. You've got five minutes. Nice end game. Better knight. Better rook. Better king. Better pawns, Papa John's. Papa John's. And we have the games starting. A lot of new games starting. So actually, this is the only game that is still on the first round here. Right. So yeah, let's uh, let's stay here. Okay. So should we? Could we just like fork you and take a free pawn? That's that's a pawn. That's that, a very that, is that just a pawn. Very healthy pawn. And that's like six, what, six seconds to out? Uh, too much tactics for Gary. <laughs> he, he's, uh, he doesn't concern himself with such trivial... <laughs> such trivial matters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, G5. Okay, this is nice. He's playing for mate. He, he's playing oh. for mate. Well, actually, what we said is true. He doesn't concern himself with, with the trivial pawn, but he wants F6. Look at that. G7. And, and there he goes. His opponent couldn't okay. okay. keep up there. We're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. A great game. Let's jump to Diok. This is also, I think, round one for them still. Diok, very strong. You know, he's the Romanian uh, talent. Their big hope, the great hope, Bogdan Daniel. From Romania. And there we go. Draw and it's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> draw by agreement. Okay, good job, guys. They're going to go to their round two game. All right, and we have our warmer dam game right here. Let's see what we've got versus Dinesh Far. Let's see. And Joel, maybe we could just maybe we could just review the bracket because I Good think idea. I'm confused. I think everyone's confused. <laughs> um, D three bracket. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just review what we got here with uh, with the bracket. So this is the current the current state of affairs. Exactly uh, for Division three. So we have winner's bracket, quarterfinal matches. These, uh, I think, took place today. And let's go to the next one. So next up in the Division Three, I don't, I'm not sure if we'll get this today, but at some point we'll have Kozak against Nguyen. Uh, oh, no, no, that happened today. So Nguyen will go up against Niels. Andraken won 3-0 against Morali Kartikian. He'll play Tuan Min Lei in the wow. next match in the semifinals. I think happening tomorrow. In the losers bracket, these are the matches we have right now. Uh, Giri Terzaga, Danishvar Mormerdam, Lobanov Dayak, Mamanov Rasulov. So these are two game matches and uh, a couple players behind one point. So they'll and have to And will we see the losers up. from the winners bracket go back down to the losers bracket, do you think? Yeah, so we'll see some more matches there. We well. might see more matches here. Yeah, as the losers of these top matches, they get sent down to the losers bracket, and then they play the existing losers. And uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we will eventually have that going. Exactly. Also, we saw our D two. They finished super early. Our D twos, um, because they just send them send them down when they don't uh, don't do well. And also, there were less players there to start out with. When they don't cooperate. Exactly. When they don't cooperate, they get sent to karaoke time. 
So yes, now we see the remaining of the D3, and you can imagine how strong the other divisions are if these are D3. Alrighty, let's see if there's any particularly fascinating positions here, my friends. What yeah. do you think of this? So this is uh, game two, black in a must-win situation, and uh, knight B. Okay, this last move by white has opened up the floodgates because rook is hanging, knight is hanging. He can take on b3. He has 92 check. 92, probably the knight gets stranded there. I don't love it, but um, hard to imagine black winning this one. Although, hold on, he is up a pawn. So he's a pawn up. Ah, but after knight takes b3, a b3, he's going to lose that pawn because a file opens up and he's got rook a7 on tap. So um, 92 check played. And bishop a6, ooh, spicy, spicy, You're leaving the rook hanging. Because if you take on a8, rook takes back, and then the bishop will come to b7, and white will have issues with the king. So, so we do have the tactics working. A lot of people think once the queens go off, you don't have a lot of tactics. You're in for like a positional draw, but this is a little bit spicy. Yeah, sacrificing All these the exchange. vulnerabilities. Bravas. Muy bravas. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, Mamadov Rasulov. Mamadov up at one point, just needs to draw this game. So he trades everything off. Goes e5, queen takes b2, knight b5. Hold on, has he messed this up a bit? I mean, he wants rook fb1 to trap the queen, but well, I can go e4 right now, I think, and just get the queen out. Uh, but wait, it's white's move. So, oh yeah, e4 played. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Mamadov missed this because now he's just down two pawns. Two pawns. That's a lot. And this could bring him back in the game. Rosilov, it could, if he wins this, right? It's, it's yeah. equal. It's then even. he takes the tarm again. So big chance for, for Rasulov. Especially, I don't think he expected this. Like playing black, having to play for a win. It is not easy. We've seen it. Usually doesn't work out. But here, I think we see some real chances here. This is just a very fun position, actually. I mean, two pawns up, queen d5. Yeah, and like this knight is going to be saying hello to this d5 square eventually. It, it just looks pretty fun. Not right now, because this is hanging. Let's fix that. How do we fix that? I think queen d5 here for black. Queen d5, try to trade it off, fix your structure. Yeah, exactly. Just take control. A6 also looks possible. Okay, and we see D5. it. Queen D5. My move, not a good sign. <laughs> queen B3. He's like, uh, all right, we can fix trade Fix my queen. structure. You come to me. You fix my I'm structure, buddy. <laughs> it's like, all right, you're still two pawns down, bro. I mean, I don't know. But okay. Making, making him think. Making moves. But you can just kind of leave the, the queen there. Oh, and he yeah, is chill with that. You see the negotiation in action. He's like, all right, I'll do it. But now rook d8. He's like, all right, I'll trade queens, but I get the rook to the d file. Bucko. And also you will be... I just very much want to put my knight on d5, and I can't do it yet, but maybe we can now, yeah. soon now. Yeah. C6 as well, kick this guy back. Okay, now... Bring your knight in and... I think just second rook comes over. Rook fd7. And no, it look, looks this fantastic for Double black because you're never threatening to move this knight ever again. This black is going to go golden corral on your queen side. And that was the whole point of getting the knight there was to pressure this uh, e4 pawn. Yeah. And but I think just rook, rook fd7 and does not. Keep, uh, keep pushing. Okay, so good chances for Rasulov to bounce back. Let's see, what else we got? It's Rizaga, he's also in a must win. Against Geary. What do we think? Small plus? A little bit better for white. Yeah, you have a little more space, yeah, but it's bit better. still a little new. Just the teensiest, tiniest little. You have these connected rooks. Advantage. Black's going to have their uh, connected yeah. rooks. And now they do. It's just uh, it's a, it's a massage. It's a squeeze. You know, Terzaga, <laughs> we'll, see, uh, we'll see his skills here. We'll see how he, uh, how he plays it. Yeah. How the cookie crumbles. See how the cookie crumbles. See how the cookie crumbles. Will it crumble on uh, on which side it crumbles? I don't know if it's crumbling is good or bad, but yeah, that's um, the saying. It's a good point. 
And let's see, we have okay. this game that we looked at Derek earlier. Lobanov. So this match is equal. So this game is less, uh, let's say, less pressing for either player. Well, why this is a bit better? An interesting position. If you win, yeah. yeah, you end the match on the spot. So big incentive to just try to end it here and now. <laughs> just end it? <laughs> just end the game. Yeah, I have a question. What's stopping these players from just winning the game, you know? Like, what, what's stopping them from just playing chess and, and winning? Yeah, just like, just win. Good question, just win. Like, Simple. why aren't you winning? <laughs> yeah, what's the Actually, hold Actually, I think we should get hired on the Zoom calls just to yell at them. Just like, win! Mm -hmm. <laughs> win! And we're, we're like the motivational speakers, you know? I think we do a good job. I think we would, too. It's very easy to yell at people. That's the whole, like, twitch syndrome, right? It's very easy to yell at people when you're uh, looking at eval, uh, oh, <laughs> looking yeah. from the outside. <laughs> Oh, we're we're comfortable in our. We're very comfy. Oh, it's so easy to see all these moves. High horse. <laughs> so good, <laughs> so good at chess <laughs> and pickleball. Okay, I do think this is nice for White. He has his bishop to b two. Space b two. Bishops love diagonals. They do. Rook comes to c one. Rook f d one. Sorry. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Black's queen on c seven. Very uncomfortable here. Eventually on the c file. Bishops are like John Cena, like those diagonals, you never see them coming. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. I know who that is. Um, okay, wow, three and a half minutes for Dayak. That's not a lot of time, <laughs> I'm just going to say. <laughs> it isn't. Oh, wait, what but... happened to the fourth match? I saw we had some result there. Oh, Warmerdam won? Wow, he won already. So we're going to Armageddon. We're going to Armageddon. How do you win so fast here? All right, what happened? All right, so. Wait, so somehow he sacked a piece for like a million pawns, and a, a four. Wow. E b three. Wow, that works. Knight b three. But rook a four. Rook d one. Oh, and g five. Oh. Oh, and then. Beautiful. Oh my tactics. This one and this one, yeah. Oh, we should catch the final uh, moments of Esapenko oh, Parin. That's Division 2. That's Div 2. Okay, thank you for that. Thank Let's you. go back there. Esapenko Parin. Right here. Oh, boy. Folks, they're in Armageddon. Oh, my. <laughs> that, means, <laughs> that means Black has drawed. So no, but this is great because we, we just got the, the best moments of it, meaning it's a pretty equal position, maybe a little better for White, and White needs to win. Yeah. Well... And two minutes. So he has no increment in this game, guys. So the time advantage is real. You have to keep it up. Queen g4. So bishop f2, he's going to go for the end game. Rook takes uh, queen d7, and then rook takes f2. Are we already in the end game? Well, this is like late late middle game, I would say. This is... Now it's... Okay, now it's the end game. Now we can... <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's nice for white. I mean, you, you have a very clear target on e5. Black's bishop is okay, but it's kind of like an empty bishop. Like, uh, it doesn't attack anything, any targets. And at some point, rook h5 is going to come. It's going to be very painful. I think it's great chances for a pawn. And he's up a minute on the clock. Oh, I think he wins this. I you think do? He wins this. Yeah, yeah, for Chat, sure. what do you think is going to happen here? Do you think we're going to see a win, a draw? Who do you think is going to win? I mean, Black is so Keep passive. Keep in mind, white is must win here. <laughs> must Just win. It's anyone's king. match. This is the winning plan. Bring the king in. Okay, I don't like what he's doing. He's trying to win tactically. Uh, I don't know about this. I think he could have just won by like very slowly massaging uh, the kid, but uh, okay. Uh, this is this is probably still good. He's still up a pawn. He still has good knight, bad bishop. If you can get his knight to c4, that would be just mm, chef's kiss. Perfect. You really like those outposts. Yeah, yeah And you yeah. have so many in this position. Yeah, so many to choose from. Exactly. Yeah. And Black's it's in difficult the for us yeah, to It's uncomfortable. You have to hold. You can't make much progress. You just have to shuffle and hope that you're uh, not letting them improve too much. And look at the time. 47 seconds to 2 minutes, Oof. 11 seconds. He's no, panicking. Absolutely no increment. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He has to make a move. No, he's just going to flag now. I mean, this is uh, this is a problem. It's tough. You don't, you don't know where you can uh, move, where it's safe. And Jules, what is he doing? You have to what move. What does he do? You have to move. Oh, my. Oh, my. No, it's just over. I, I think maybe oh his my. connection has, has given out, but no, I think it's it's done. No, I think he's just, this is his his resignation. 
But he could still hold the draw. Mistakes could happen. Would 10 seconds? What, no, no, what, but I, I don't know how it got so long. Time. <laughs> Are we... No, no, we're seeing I, it. I we're think, seeing it live. I think he just lost his connection or something. He lost or, his connection? Or his mom called him. I don't know. <laughs> something for dinner? happened. But, for, for lunch? But that's it. Honey, yeah, we have over. pot roast. <laughs> Oparin wins. Uh, a bit anticlimactic. But uh, yeah, Oparin takes it. He'll advance to the next round of the winner's bracket, Division 2. Esipenko, he gets sent down to, to, to loser's, loser's bracket. bracket. Wild. I, I wonder what had yeah. happened there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll find out maybe. We but let's go out. back to Division Three. That is our mystery of the day. Division Three, I'm sure still. What has was on the stove? Action going on. <laughs> yeah, I mean something started. Uh, something was brewing. Something. Internet gambit took his attention. That's for sure. Okay, we have this game between Dayak and Lobanov. This is their game two. This looks very very uh, drawish. And uh, okay, let's watch this. It's Horizaga, uh. Giri. And we get updates. Esipenko lost to Armageddon because his connection dropped with one minute on the clock. That is painful. He did lose connection. That is so tough. But that position was pretty bad for Black anyway, so likely he would have lost regardless. But uh, you yeah, don't know. that's you unfortunate. Don't know. It's very unfortunate. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers for the connection. For the connection. Issue. But no, I think Oparn had it. He was up on time. The yeah, extra pawn. The I think he would have... Uh, he would have converted it. Meanwhile, uh, Torazaga has to win this game. Or he gets sent home. He's sent to the pit. To the pit. To the pit. The zoom, this is the pit. The zoom chess. pit. Chess.com zoom pit. This is the where pit. Where you actually need three cameras, mind you. You need the first two cameras and the third third camera. So good luck with that. For what? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and, uh, I mean, he's... Got a very active looking position, but I don't know if there's anything clear here for White. And yeah, he just trades queens. Endgame, I think, is totally fine for Black. So yeah. Geary's going to try to hold this one and uh, clinch the, the match. In D3, losers. We have two Armageddons coming. That will be really exciting, so stick with us on that. A commenter said, Division 2 losers bracket is the place people want to go. Vidit, Bobby, Dominguez, Wesley So, Esapango, Sam Savian. Yeah, it literally looks like... A strong masters tournament. No, I mean, uh, yeah, it's like Tata Steel Masters right there. <laughs> In, insanely, <laughs> insanely stacked. Um, let's see. So this one, I think Geary is gonna hold and uh, knock Atarazaga out. Meanwhile, we have Armageddon uh, between Warmer Dam and Donishvar. Look at the bets. I think uh, Warmer Dam really wanted the black pieces here, and he bet pretty low. Yeah, he's down on time. This is Armageddon, folks. Draw odds for black. White has to win to uh, advance in this match. And for you guys who don't know, the format of Armageddon is both players want to choose which color they want to be because black has draw odds, meaning if you draw as black, you win everything. So they will both put in a time bet and whoever has the lower time bet, they get to choose which color they get, but they also have to play with that low time. So we see here this time difference, no increment. We'll have to see if their strategy plays out. We'll have to see how this goes, but this is looking <laughs> pretty comfortable for uh, Black here. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, outposts. Very healthy position, I'd say, for White. Like he's got this nice Benoni, basically. Looks like a nice Benoni. Bishop on G two. Of course, the three extra minutes is. Uh, I'm Useful. a fan. I'm a fan. And no, I, I like White's chances here quite a bit. I think he's got exactly what you would want. A chatter says knight on a four and a six. Aren't knights on the rim dim? Yes, I. as long as tactics don't work, I would be a big fan of moving the knight somewhere. Except mm. here's a little just tricky, because uh, there's nowhere really you can put your knight after moving it here. Yeah, the knights are a little bit uncomfy, and maybe it, would it be a bad idea to just move your knight back? I think you might have to, because uh, white's hitting the rook and b7 is hanging. You kind of, it's not yeah. super pleasant to pin yourself, but what else are you going to do? You just got to go for the pin, but there's not a huge way you can exploit that that pin right away. Yeah, no, not immediately. I don't think this is anything amazing for white, but, but I think it's... that's what they do. They make small weaknesses. Pleasant and position, yeah. Maybe 94 to follow up. It shows up later. Yeah. That's how it be. But, uh, okay, black is thinking. B5, ooh. Wow. That was that escalated quickly. Um, just giving the rook, I gotta say, I don't believe in this at all. Uh, but 
you know what? It might be it might be the kind of changing the character of the game that Black was looking for, because the position was already unpleasant, and now maybe he can overtake the initiative. But I don't know. I mean, it's an exchange up for White. Yeah, and especially in this position, even if it's unpleasant, maybe you can just sit a little bit. Hope you get the draw. Although no player really likes to do that. That's not exactly a fun chess. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like yeah, a decision to. And set maybe c5 now, knight before coming. Should we take a look at this game right here? Uh, you want to go back to Gary? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you got a rook in game. So Gary, I think he just needs to hold this one. And it looks like he's going to win? Yeah, he, he's in control here. Should we call it? Uh, I'd say, yeah, he's going to hold. Yeah, he's going to at least likely. hold, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that means he will win the match, stay in the loser's bracket... And any others here? We can go back to this game. And I think, yeah, we have Armageddon starting soon. So Armageddon and then that Dayak game, that's still game two. And that one's probably going to be a draw. So we should get Armageddon there as well. Whoa, Knight CA2. Knight CA2. Wow. Oh boy. Look at that. Knight c5. Okay. The knights are moving. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's rooks hanging all over the board. Neither player seems to care. Well, there's a lot of pieces hanging. You got this bishop with tempo. You got this this uh, rookie here. So knight c1, knight takes d7. Yeah, that looks nice for white. Nah, where are you? And then you still have this to worry about. A7 hangs. A7 yeah. hanging. The knight hangs, exactly. And if you go here, maybe even have this stupid little No, bishop. Move. Bishop yeah. covers the diagonal. And we're going to see it. Okay, knight c1, knight d7 on the board. Oh, I almost both has gambited us. Knight c7. I know. I know. Queen here we c7. Go. Okay, covers a7. Now, can you throw a knight e5? Or do you just take on c1 here? I think just queen c1. Or. Yeah. Queen c1, c takes b5. Takes. Looks like good chances for white still. He might be able to... Because uh, his bishop on g2 is just so much better than the bishop on g7. Do you folks see that? Because that bishop's got pawns in the way. He's like, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. That's the pawns <laughs> on e5. and the, They're like just awkward people in the way at the supermarket. You know, They're just standing in front of what you need to get to. Bishop on g2, no obstacles. Can travel freely throughout the board. And yeah, very, very happy. So camper. the time here was Max Warmerdam won the bid. It was 727. So it actually wasn't that low. And then our second one, uh, Roslov won the bid with Black, um, and he will be playing with seven minutes. Okay, so we got another army again. Yes. Starting up. Okay, yeah, I think just CB5 here, simple chess. C5 also actually is probably good. Just pushing the C pawn. I, I like C5 actually more, getting the. Uh, the pass pawn here, knight b3, you can Bring support, c6. Yeah, all of white's pieces can, but cb5 also feels like white is doing well there. And then you can maybe pick up a7. Hmm. Very interesting moment right now. What is he going to do? Does he have another move? Queen, queen move? Attacking the knight maybe? Queen b1? So queen b1, queen b2? I'm just going to... Call every move until I guess what white plays. Rook b1, maybe? Rook b1, rook takes b5. Rook b1. Queen b2, I called it. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. Wow. Figured crazy. out the move. All right. And we immediately have bishop f8 he was defending ready for that. the knight. But now knight e4 tempo. Threatening knight f6 check. The tempo in the position. Wild. <laughs> Get a, yeah, there's knight e4, knight f6. Yeah, that knight wants to be there anyway. Yeah, imagine you could just move twice. That would be crazy. That should be a variant where you can just make two moves at once. Mm -hmm. I feel like it'd be really easy to. That'd be tough, actually. You have to you have to be a little careful there. <laughs> Sounds like a variant from. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. look, knight e four, knight f six, and then black plays king g seven. And then you do. <laughs> no, literally. So yeah, you think uh, that's actually really you funny. Think you think you're, you're clever. clever, and then uh, no, what you, what you gonna do? No, not happening. Okay, I think this is the sharpest game we've got. Although, wait. Diak, Lobana. This game has been going on for a while. If someone wins this game, this match is over. It's over. Then we won't have over. any Armageddon. 
And uh, Diok, definitely the rating favorite, but, you know, Lamont. He's low on time. Uh... He's down 20 seconds. They have increment, Oof. thankfully, in this position. But yeah, Two bishops for white. I definitely like his chances. you got the bishop c5 check. Yeah, yeah it's just easier to play. King e2, rook c1. Keeping up with your bishops. Don't trade rooks here. Do not trade rooks as white. Then black, I think, holds a lot more solidly. So yeah, king e3. Move the rook over and try to infiltrate. Ooh. Infiltrate the castle? Sharp game. They've just got seconds. And they've got four seconds to eight seconds. Look at this. And oh my god, the time is evening. This is a little bit insane. A4. A4? Amazing how they play. Just Whoa. With seconds. A3 now. Okay. Look at that. It looks a little scary. Oh, but, A2. Uh, A2. It is coming Black's in. Black's pawn now. Very strong. Oh my. Rook oh my. Eights. Oh my. Rook A8. Whoa. And that's it. This is wild. That's it. He's going to promote. It. He's winning. It's it. And then that is would be the match. It's game over. Diak would be going forward. Diak, if he wins this. Hold on. Don't switch away. <laughs> if he wins this, it's it's <laughs> over. That would be, he flagged. Yeah. That's it. That is it. That's it. Bogdan Daniel with then the win. We got, our, we got our winner there. Okay. And now we are going to our Armageddon match. Yeah. Maybe we should go back to the other one because this one is a little bit behind still i think they got less time yeah, we can take a look over on this one similar similar positions though yeah okay well what's going on here danish far still still pressing a little bit he's putting pressure he's got extra minutes and he has to win this one because this is armageddon but what is he going to create here? Queen a6, okay. This is why I think it's really important not to have white in Armageddon. It's have we seen a pressure. single white? A oh, one. We've seen one white win in I Armageddon. We've seen some. But yeah, no, it's been tough for white this tournament. The players, they need to bid more aggressively with black. They need to adjust, you know? Most players are taking like seven, seven and a half minutes. Eight you got to go hard. You got to six minutes. Six, five and a half minutes, you know? You guys yeah, like, <laughs> you want you want that? <laughs> well, if black is winning every game, I mean, that's you got to bid for black. That's what you got to do. I suppose. Okay, knight c3. That's a smart move, trading off the knights. Oh, dc. Oh, but now this looks very comfortable for black. The only problem is this is time. He's down a minute with no increments. Yeah, but a minute is not that crazy here. Although we do have, I don't know. I this think bishop. Yeah, I really like this a bishop. Queen d4. Here. Interesting. No, I think black is fine. I think he's holding. It's just, uh, can he play fast enough? But I think black's position is very. And we see the uh, very time equalizing already. Yeah, but forty seconds. No increment. You know, forty seconds. Meh, 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 meh. It's a lot. Meh, 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 meh. Is that what I said? Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> <laughs> bishop c5 now. I don't know. Rook is hanging. Oh, but F2 is hanging. Everything's hanging. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe you could. Wait, yeah. If, like, Probably got to save the rook. Rook takes maybe some sort of... Oh, C2 also is a move. C2, you're... C2, I'd be worried we're going to lose the pawn. Rook yeah. C1. Mm. Mm, queen A5 is an annoying move. Maybe Queen B6? Bishop D6? Okay. Bishop D6. Yeah, I'm just wondering if something like a... And rook c1 yeah. is coming. Oh, it's tough for Max, and he's spending a lot of time. I mean, he wants to play the right move, but at what cost? Okay, now rook c1 now looks uh, like a problem. <laughs> Someone's making fun of me. You're not supposed to be two minutes down in blitz. I'm always two minutes down in blitz. I just think it's, you know, I think it's fine. Nice, He'll nice fine. find. Okay, Black is, <laughs> he's back in control. The question is just, will Danishvar be able to flag him? <laughs> and with that in mind, he keeps the queens on the board. Yeah, I mean, that probably is no matter what the evaluation is. Good flagging a strategy. Practical, yeah. practical choice. Keep more pieces on. Absolutely. Yeah, it's much easier to play with queens off the board than on the board. Ooh. Bishop c5, okay. Just losing the pawn. Oh, he's just trying to hold the fortress, but no, you get flagged here every time. Even if it's not objectively losing, it's just. No, no, no. It's, this is not good. This is not good. King f1, king e2, rook c4. Just make lots and lots of moves here if you're white. I mean, I love a good flagging just like anyone, you know? So let's... Uh, let's, <laughs> let's get it moving. Let's let's watch the pain. Yeah, f4 now, maybe d4. Nope, king d2. Just slowly, 
Slowly increasing his edge. Oh, but bishop e8. Oh, wow. that's pain. He's oh going to win my. on the board now. Oh, my. Oh, no, those pawns oh are... Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. We have lots hanging. Yeah, those pawns are too uh, too weak. It's game over. Yeah, this is this is very, very tough. And you see it. You see it in his, his hesitation. And it just went so wrong so quickly. He even maybe had a small advantage. But... That's that's the strategy you can play against you. You you play a little too yeah. passively, trying to go for the for the draw and right. it happens. Okay, looking for f four, but no, White's winning too many pawns here on the king's side. I think you just take on h five. You know, king d three as well. H yeah. pawn's not going anywhere. Should we call it for now and look at uh, our last Armageddon game? Uh yeah, I think yeah, Donishvar is winning this one. Let's switch over. Because look at this time difference. 2 minutes 52 seconds Whoa. to 5 minutes. Oh, so that, that's going to be a white Armageddon win? That that will be. And this one might be as well. Mamadov. Wait, wait, wait. Do we see... Big advantage. Do we see in some sort of equalization here? Well, no. uh... No, it is fooling us. It might have been equal for a second. But yeah, I think he's still just going to get flagged <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that's, that's what happens. No increments. Uh, this is okay. Here's Mamadov trying to win. Maybe we should watch that one actually, because again, the the bar is is back to equal. Has has Max swindled his way to? I a think fortress? sometimes it um jibates ju us. You know. Oh, I see. But the position looks it very looks dry more, because Black more, is, is. Yeah, we can we can go for it. This could be this could be. I a mean, comeback. he's gonna have to just dirty flag his opponent because this is very easy to pre-move. You just go back and <laughs> you forth. You go back, back and forth. It's the opposite color bishops. So somewhere he's gonna have to throw in. He's gonna try to induce some pre-moving and then throw in b6. And oh, it's. You think that's what we're gonna get? I think you gotta try because otherwise you're just gonna hit the 50 move roll. And. Uh... Maybe bring the king. Oh man. Move. Wow, to, uh, this to is hold impressive. This. Very yeah. impressive. And the time is not. Oh, there he goes. He's leaving the pawn. Oh, this is just an attempt to, to flag the opponent. It's a good attempt. Yeah, it's a good strategy. The black still has a lot of time. But it's not super. Now e three. Oh, now you don't have any b six ideas. And just bishop b six. Where do you go? Check. Well, you could you could try to move the pawns oh, down. We got h six oh. though. Oh, but h six is king is stuck. Oh my god. You could try to move the pawns up, but I think he'll have enough time to to catch. Yeah, no, black is holding this. Yeah, Look that, that, that was a nice strategy, but like this is a great strategy for white, taking the risks. But wow. Look at that speed. He's gotta try B6 somewhere. He just gotta catch him in the pre-move. That's the only Nine way. seconds. We're gonna see it at five seconds. We're gonna see that B6 at five seconds, right. I call it. But, uh, okay, oh, H6. He, oh, oh, and he does it! Oh, he, does he it caught him. H6, H6, he caught him. He caught him. Oh. oh, my. And that was the perfect, and we saw it exactly five seconds. Dang. That was it. And I think he was looking at that B6, too, you know? That's why he's moving back and forth. He, he wanted to catch it, but... What a beauty. Oh, my. So, Bishop E6, Bishop E2, Bishop C5. Wow. Throws H6 right at this H6. moment. I think it was just to avoid the 50 move roll, if anything. But bishop b6 was pre-moved, h7 on the board. And then it is... That's how you do it. Dunzo. That's how you do it. That is some fantastic technique, I gotta say. It's some flagging technique <laughs> right there. And with that... Uh, Donishvar wins that Armageddon. Donishvar. Yeah. I won, yeah. And so Max is down to the loser bracket, or...? Uh, I think... Is he just out? I think th these are losers bracket games. Yeah, so Warmer Dam's out. Oh, and wow. uh, Mamadov is trying to knock Rasulov out. And that's that's crazy. It was beautiful, like it's beautiful holding, and then you get the dirty flag. That was some great, Ooh, great that was defense. Some good, yeah. That was some good defense. Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, he will be joining us for karaoke. Yeah, he's he's coming to the Forced party. Forced chess.com loser karaoke. It's a new rule. Yeah, 80s hits only. 80s hits only. <laughs> Okay, um, so Mamadov, three minutes to convert this one. Another Armageddon game, folks, so they got no increments here. And Black's position is bad. Down a pawn, down on time, king is weak. Bad is kind here. <laughs> it's not easy to... Uh, and to three minutes to 53 seconds. Position. Yeah, 
This is not looking good for Rasulov. Mamanov takes on g5. It looks like he's just trying to simplify. And after I said that uh, that the black pieces win Armageddon. Yeah, we're going to get two white wins. Maybe rook c8 check now is strong. But you can even just cynically go for the rook in game and again just go for the flag. <laughs> so you either win with your extra pawn or you win with your. Yeah, you have extra to be time. careful. You have to be careful. Yeah. And I think we're going to. Ooh. Ooh. Why not king? Oh, king g7, the d4 pawn hangs with check. So king e7. Okay, here you keep queens oh. on the board. You just mate your opponent. You got to mate it. How do you mate them? Zero then? chance. How do you mate them? Rick endgame. I think you start maybe queen e4 check. Okay, just take okay. on d4. That also looks Works. fine. Absolutely. Actually, if black has no counterplay, now you're just two pawns up. Now the rook endgame is winning. But yeah, you got Don't all, move kinds that of, rook, yeah. <laughs> all kinds of mating ideas. Queen d8 was a huge threat there. So queen d5. Maybe... I think you just win this any way you want. Queen H4. Queen H4 is good. Queen H4. Queen E3. Yeah, lots of good moves. I think we're going to see it. We're going to see it in the next few seconds. A Mamadov win. Yeah. I mean, you can you're, you can definitely do the Rick game. I mean, two pawns up, you're you're going to flag the guy. Uh, but yeah, but it's a Queen E3 fun. is easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, hold on. Do not blunder Rook B1. Wait, hold on. Rook H1 mate. Rook B1, Rook H1 mate. Oh, I think we're going to see it. Oh. G4. No, no, no. Why? He's, he's in control. He yeah. can just keep giving checks. Queen F4. Eventually they're going to mess up. Rook C1 now. Like, just be safe. Okay, don't make a repetition. <laughs> By accident. We've seen that happen. Yeah, do not repeat. It, it happens. <laughs> yeah, he's C1 thinking now. right here for a little bit. I like Rook C1. You know, just cover your back rank. But he's trying to win on the spot, which I understand. But, uh,. Okay, queen e4. Okay, well, for a little... <laughs> He's got everything under control. Again, don't blunder rook b1 check if you're white. Rook c6 now, queen e4. Yeah, where do you go? I think just rook okay, c1, rook finally. C1. Yeah, just we, safe we and solid. It. Queen d4. Queen h4 now. Oh. And he's repeating a little bit, but no, we're not going to. King g2. Ooh, that's smart. Getting the rook over Bring to h1. In. And now rook comes to c8. Now it's all over. You think? Yeah. Yeah, it's all over It's here. just going to... Need seven seconds. Okay, okay yeah. Now, now, we, now we, just, we get the trade. Now just go for <laughs> the rook. The yeah, yeah, plan B. Flag him. Just flag him. <laughs> if you can't him. win, flag him. Yeah, extra two pawns and uh, no no chance. Russell, though, up. he keeps, keeps fighting, but... They're fighters. You, you never, never resign, never surrender. Hello, Paul. It is going good. I hope you are doing well. Yeah, it, it is how, how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, trying to defend this. Yeah, King I think he just in. wins. Yeah, wins on the board, wins on the clock. And that's it. And there we go. Mamadov there we go. takes over. And... That was the regular bracket, winner's bracket. So I believe that means Ruslov is uh, sent to the loser's bracket. Mamadov wins. And that is our last Armageddon match of the day. I'm not 100% sure. We are going to double check on that one. That's our last Armageddon for now. For now. <laughs> I know that much. I think that was a loser's bracket match. Yeah. So that means... Oh, so means... he's just sent to karaoke. Yeah. We are happy to have him. Straight to kar karaoke. <laughs> Straight to karaoke. Do not pass go. Do not Always collect in there. Two hundred dollars. Just run to karaoke. Yeah, let's uh, let's review the bracket while we find out if there's going to be more matches. So let's start with division two. This is where we're at currently, folks. And um, yeah, let's scooch over. So we saw these matches today, and winners bracket quarterfinals. This happened today. MVL, Levon, Oparin, and Dubov all winning. Then in the losers brackets, oh, let's scooch back. We got uh, Karwana, Wesley So, Sevian, and Vidit uh, winning their matches here. Okay, then Division Three bracket. Uh, Division Three winners, Min Lei. Andraken, Niels Grandelius, and the win, all winning, advancing to the semifinals. 
And in the loser's bracket, we just saw these matches. Giri, Danishvar, Dayak, and Mamadov. They are advancing to the next stage of the loser's bracket. So lots and lots of more big matchups. Uh, coming tomorrow. Coming up. Are we done for the day? I believe so. I think that everything is done and it is leading us into tomorrow, which will be a lot of fun. We have a lot of crazy matches. I think you're really going to want to tune in for that one. Yeah, folks. Uh, more Division 2, II, Division 3 happening tomorrow.